Welcome, welcome, welcome. DTube, welcome. Sorry, in the beginning, I have to set some stuff up and change some settings. All right. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, wait, one more thing I got to do here. Boom. All right, that worked. DTube, how's it going? How's your Monday? It is Monday, November 23rd. We are about three days. Steve White, welcome. We are three days away from uh, Thanksgiving, where we all will eat like pigs. Okay, Fez, very good. Now, let me see here. Um, hey, DTube, you, you um, listened to my podcast. Did you happen to check out the last one? I forgot that mine went up last night. Interesting. Hold on. Oh, okay. But it, I just was making sure that it went up. I never can tell. Hold on, I'm just looking up something here. Joey Charles. Uh, have you done a lesson for Dave Mason's Disagree or Little River Band's Lady? Uh, yeah, We Just Disagree is there. I've done the guitar solo to Lady. Um, uh, yeah, no, I haven't done the song, although I, I could. It, it's almost like a... Right, it's like A, A over G, A over F sharp. A over G, A, A over G, A over sharp. And later D, back to A. And then a five, four, one. Don't be thinking that I don't. Four, four, three, two, one. Doom, doom. Yeah. Let me put it down though on my sheet. Hold on here. Um, little river band. Also, I got to get rid of this one. I didn't buy it last already. Okay. 
Ooh, it's a groovy situation. Ben Tom, very good. Uh, I Don't Need You by Kenny Rogers, I'm not sure of. Oh, hey, thanks, Tom. Yeah, it's a fun song. Hey, well, what's the matter with you? Yeah, I mean, all those type songs from the 70s were so much fun. You know, after I did the lesson, YouTube, like, showed me a song. It was called, like, Something Witch from New Orleans by Redbone, and that song is awful. I mean, it is rotten. Let me just see here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Joey Charles, where are you from? And if Steve White's still here, these are names I don't recognize. Where are you from? Yeah, it's a great one. It's a great song. I think the kids liked it because it was in Guardians of the Galaxy. I have an overlooked uh, Fort Worth, Texas. All right. Very cool. I have a... Um, I have a overlooked album coming out tomorrow morning. And then Wednesday morning, I have a lesson coming out. And Thursday, wow, two guys from Texas. All right. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. So, yeah, so I have a, a lesson coming out on Wednesday, a lesson Thursday. Um. I forget which one was a Joey that mentioned Lady. Lady, maybe I'll get to that. I could do that song in my sleep. Oh, okay. F is for family. I don't know if I know what that is. Although I watched a great South Park last night. It was on really late. It was um, Scott Tennerman Must Die. One of my favorites. Those guys are out of their minds. So brilliant. Oh, and again, I didn't put my... Oh, if if uh, Smooth Jazz comes on tonight, he'll be upset that my lava lamp isn't on. Don't be thinking that I don't want you, cause lady, I do. Boo, do, do, do. Yeah, I was looking to see who was around tonight to see if I would bring a guest on. Uh, Bingham was too busy, apparently. And Ryan has been working crazy hours. He messaged me... Uh, yeah, he hasn't even seen my message. Uh, let me see. Don't I have a... Um... All right. Let's see what that was. Nothing. Interesting. Squire, what's happening? Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Sonic dude, what's going on? That's uh, funny, Tom. You know, it's funny. I don't really know much of his stuff. 
Um, I haven't been exposed to much of him. I went to high school with him. Um, he was the year behind me. But um, as adults, I just, uh, we haven't crossed paths. It streams on Netflix. All righty, I'll check it out. That I will check out. Don't be thinking that I don't want you, cause maybe I do. Do, do, do. You gotta write down those songs and check them out. I gotta write down, you said these songs, trust me, here's another sad old love song from Firefall. Yeah, the problem is, um, is I usually do songs that I know that I grew up with that have some type of nostalgia foot with me. Um, let me hear. I'm listening to Sad Old Love Song right now. Wait, what is it? Check out my channel for lots of, okay. Oh, that's funny. She did it by Frampton. Uh, not terribly. Not really. Yeah, Steve. I mean, that's like, it's hard because a lot of people try to request songs and I'm like, yeah, I don't know that song. So it doesn't mean anything to me. And I try to make it so it has a personal connection to me, if you will. Um, This sounds like a B-side Eagles cut here. I haven't gotten to the hook yet. It's an A chord. A six four, A seven. Sounds like a drop D tuning, huh? So a B minor. Yeah. I don't like that chord. C, back to the D. All right. Yeah, like I said, Maiden, it's just one of those things where, like, I try to do songs like Who Done It. I didn't really know if anybody was going to know Who Done It by Tra Tavares. I knew I had the 45. And so, therefore, if like one or two people knew the song, um, they would connect with it the way I did when I was a kid, you know. And um, I could have done, uh, which, you know, I, I always liked all their songs. Um, what's it called? Like, uh, what was their other big song? Oh, I can't even, I'm blanking on the one that I wanted to say. Not Heaven Must Be Missing an Angel, but a different one. Frank Corcoran, welcome. Well, Steve White, if you could think of other songs that I have missed, that I have a strong nostalgia for. I'm going to start doing some 80s songs. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do like, um, hold on, I'm going to open this freaking thing again. Uh, Right. Dwight Bailey, welcome. Yeah, you know, I I worked on Pablo Cruz Love Will Find a Way. 
Uh, when I say A64, I mean if you're playing an A7 chord with the open G string, um, Tom, the fourth string will go to the F sharp. The second string will go to the D. The bass string is still the A, but that open G is ringing and the high E is ringing. Oh, hey, Jonathan McCulloch. Yeah, absolutely. I love Dan Huff. There's a great Dan Huff solo, Jonathan. What the hell? Oh, Howie. Um, okay. Uh, what you're going to do? Yeah, there's a great Dan Huff solo on a on a Rick Springfield song called One Reason. Love it. Oh, uh, yeah. What you're going to do is great. Yeah, Giant. Yeah, great band. I also love the stuff he did for Megadeth, and he also produced some Carrie Underwood and um, Faith Hill. Um, there was a guy who was a Frampton jam track. Uh, Uh, well, <laughs> uh, me never. I've been into Stuckies a few times. There's uh, several Stuckies. I've driven cross country multitude of times, but never for a pecan roll or a pecan roll, whatever you call it. I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, it's a great Dan Huff solo, Jonathan. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, Dan Huff's like a hidden gem. Great player. Lukather, we all know, is a monster. But I, I love Lukather's voice. I love those songs that he sings. Like the Toto songs he sings are my favorite. What you gonna do when she says goodbye? Uh, Dwight Bailey guitar. To I don't know. Has Dwight got any new guitars? So, uh, sorry, Steve White, Pablo Cruz, I've worked out um, Love Will Find a Way. The problem is you kind of have to have two instruments going because it's a piano. You know, you've got that, um, but you still need that, that bass note. Someone, someone's done you wrong. Do, 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 do. Feeling that you can't go on. Uh, Jonathan McCulloch, where in the UK are you? We get usually a few people from the UK in this room. Uh, we get um, we have a guy Hugh that comes in from from Scotland. It's time to find a place in the sun. Uh, Look at the surprise to see Campbell starts playing. Look at him surprised, hilarious. What? What is that? Oh, Glenn Campbell. Tim Pierce, Calver Hine. Um. Zero. Oh, okay. Belligerent ghouls run Manchester schools. Spineless swine, cemented mines. Are you a Smitty's fan? Belligerent ghouls run. Yeah, Tim's great. Tim did a lot of work with Rick Springfield, too. For the longest time, I thought it was Tim Pierce playing the guitar on one reason. 
But uh, then I found out it was Dan Hoff. Brent Mason, who's a country session guy, is a monster. Hey, there's Hugh now. Hugh, what's going on? So it's it's late for you guys, right? It's like 2.20 in the morning over there in the UK. Ditronic stereo chorus and detune sound. Racks. Uh, I think the next time I'll be in a Rax restaurant will be my first time. Uh, Billy, I started it about 20 minutes ago. Do I find groups like 38 Special hard because of two guitars? No. I don't think two guitars is difficult. It's difficult to teach a lesson because I take twice as long having to show both guitar parts, whether it's 38 Special, Skinner, Aerosmith, The Stones. Yeah, Brent Mason's awesome. Awesome. Oh, you're at work. Yeah, I have the Hot Wired album, Steve. That's a hard one to come by. Great one, though. I'm also a huge Steve Warren fan. Rax. Klipsch sixes. Wait, don't I have a I have a pair of Klipsch, don't I? Oh yeah, what what is it called? That's what I have. The clips, is it sixes? I think mine says THX. I can't read them. They're great. Comes with a subwoofer. Thank you, David Kehoe. Appreciate it. And where are you from, David? I run a Kemper with a boogie and a loop too. Nice. Oh, top 40 country. See, I like the 90s country stuff. Uh, Aussie Bondi. Having a good listening on my lunch break. Oh, very cool, Aussie. Where are you from? Robert Self. He is Robert Self. I want to be... Aussie, where are you from, man? Ange DeChico. What is going on? Everybody, that's Angelina. She's a student of mine. We had a lesson today. Dallas, Fort Worth area. He works video editing. Now he's to be a touring musician. All right. Metro Detroit. All righty. Hugh Caldwell's off work for a few weeks. Okay. Uh, Dave, so um, if you don't mind me asking how old you are, because um, if you could think of any other types of songs that you would like to see me do, um, I'd like to say no ahead of time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Angie. Ba -da 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 -da. Well, no, I figured you're in Australia because your name is Aussie. I was curious where in Australia. And are you a fan of the Angels? Linwood, Washington. Okay. 
Billy Breeze, 15 minutes north of Seattle. Excellent. No, Hugh is a uh, Scotsman. Christian Larson on YouTube. Oh, yeah, Mike Landau. Landau used to come into my store. He used to come in and shop every now and then. Nice guy. Yes, Angelina, we all know you like Billie Eilish. You're a fan of Billie Irish and ropes hanging from a gallo. <laughs> all right, man and patrol man, thanks for hanging. I asked Angelina today, how many people do you think... Uh, a suicidal after they listen to Billie Eilish. <laughs> Akadaka. Of course he likes Akadaka. He's in Australia. Cold Chisel, the Angels, Akadaka. Pete, Pete uh, Garrett. Angie, baby. Dwight Bailey, what's been going on? My story. Well, I worked in Los Angeles. I um, I was doing sessions from about 98 on. 98 was when I started doing sessions. 97, 98. Uh, and then I managed the store. While I still did sessions, I managed West LA Music for four years. I did uh, Alvis for two. I came back to Massachusetts. My dad got sick. And uh, my mom doesn't drive, so um, oh, that's very cool, Aussie. Okay, Queensland Knights. Very cool. So yeah, so you know, I've uh, got to work with a bunch of my heroes. I'm doing well, Dwight. Thanks so much. Ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Here's a story. Hey, Fruitcake, what's going on? So when I came back to Massachusetts, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? Well, there's a few things that were going on. My dad was ill. He passed in June of this year on June 4th. But when my dad was ill, and you know, when you see your one of your parents get weak, or when they start to, um, you know, fade a little bit and uh, you start to look at life a little differently, you think about things differently. And I thought, you know, I have a lot of this knowledge in my head about music and theory, and I'd love to be able to pass it down. And in the same time, I was like, and I also could keep in touch with my old contacts if I did a YouTube channel. So I was like, I'll do this YouTube channel, keep my L.A. contacts fresh. And at the same time, I could unload a lot of this stuff that's on my brain and leave it behind at some point. Um, yeah, Nick Menzo, he was in my band, The Big Angry, from 2002 to 2005. A <laughs> nice one, Ant. But I'm I'm asking how many of them take their own life. So yeah, so uh, but I got to work with a lot of great people. I I started doing sessions in L.A. when I first met um, Michael Sembello and his brother Dan. Danny passed a few years. I want to say he died like f three or four years ago. 
And, um, but I worked with those two guys and that kind of opened a lot of doors and, um, yeah, Nick was a great drummer. So I had a band called the big angry in 2001, 2002, we had our original drummer and then Nick Menza joined the band. He became our drummer till about 2005. After 2005, we stopped playing so much and we just did like gigs or things for films like recordings. And the drummer who played with us after Nick left was Ray Luzier. And um, and Ray's awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, those I wasn't so familiar with. But the Angels, Cold Chisel, I love Ian Moss. Uh, I like, I had an Australian roommate who was from uh, Brisbane. Yep, Joey, he does. I'll be over you. On that same album, uh, Lukather also sang, um, it's, not the, it's Not the Same Without Your Love. And uh, there's something on side two. And then the album afterwards, the best one, These Chains, that drum beat. Oh, in 2015, yes. He was a, uh, he's a Pennsylvania guy. He drowned Tom. Yeah, I did a lot of work for Danny. Danny was a, um, he had a publishing deal, so he was a songwriter. And he also did a movie called, I mean, a, uh, an album called like Revolution of the Spirit. And I did a lot of work for him on that. Um, in fact, he had Vinny Kaliuta play drums and he wanted me to come in and drum replace, which I refused to do. Because the drum tracks were good. He thought they weren't that good. They actually were very good drum tracks. They just needed to, a little love on them. They needed some compression, some EQing. And at the time, he was kind of... Um, Danny had lost one of his cats. Like, the, he had to put the cat down. And he was, like, out of his mind, upset about it. So he, he didn't want to deal with it. He just kind of wanted me to come in and do the drum replacing. And I, I was like, nah. But I went to his studio. Well, was actually, at that time, his studio was in his apartment in Marina Del Rey. And I just went over there, and I, I spent probably like six hours just um, fixing the drums, EQing them. Yeah, I did a record with Vinny in 2005. Um, he's the greatest. Great drummer, great human being. I love Vinny. <laughs> I don't know, Inge. I don't know if you are. No, no, you don't have anything you gotta you'll you'll shy up like you did last time. All right, let me see what's going on here. William Medino, okay. So yeah, so uh yeah, so that, I mean that was you mean you wanted to help others. Hey, thank you, Trent. Have a great one, man. Come back anytime. We usually get quite a few Aussies in here. Yeah. And if you want, I mean, I'm not going to say no. Um, thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, so I it was fun. I got to do a lot of work. Uh, I got to play with a lot of people. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and I'll be going back. My dad passed in June. And I would have left much sooner had it not been for like COVID being just, I mean, I kind of want to line myself up with, um, yes, I did teach you some Billie Eilish today. I, um, I want to get like something lined up, maybe something, an industry gig or something before I head back. That way I can go there and... Um, you know, do my channel, teach, and have more of a steady, uh, thanks. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, you know, it, it was cool because a lot of times when I I used to talk to people, I would just out of, like, just say, hey, I love when you did, did that. 
you know, you worked on this. And they were like, you know, I did that. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, re- I have a retention for a ton of things. So it's um, it was funny. What's happening, Dan of New Jersey? Welcome back, Hugh. Yeah, that was it. That was it, Ange. We did eight. But yeah, so um, yeah, and so a lot of times, like when I would do sessions and stuff, you know, I was at the time when I first started doing sessions. I think I was around just right before I turned thirty, and you know, I was a young guitar player mainly into metal for the most part, but I liked everything, but I was a metal guy. And I remember doing uh, one of my very first sessions and they told me, we're going to play in the key of C center on G. And I'm like, oh, Mixolydian. And I just got the stare down like, no, we don't talk modes. And I was just like, okay. I didn't really question it. I just stopped. And then as time went on and I had to start producing myself and, and with other and bringing in classical players, everything kind of made sense to me because the classical players look at a piece of sheet music. They see the, they see the key and that's it. And then everybody else can kind of figure out what they need to do. If you're smart enough to know all the modes, you're smart enough not to have to talk in them. Who liked green day? Uh, No, I don't care for Kirk Hammett. Uh, No, Frank, I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll be, it's the same show no matter where I go, you know. But it's funny because, you know, a lot of guys that do YouTube stuff, I knew outside of YouTube before anyone had a channel like Mark Agnesi who's now at Gibson used to work with me and he did the, he went to Norman's rare guitars after he left West LA and uh, guitar max guitar max used to be a customer used to come in. He was guitar max is really good friends with a buddy of mine. So I used to see him around and uh, um, Hey, thanks, Jonathan. I, all I can say, I do not love Green Day, that's for sure. But Queen, yes. I love Queen. Fez, welcome. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jonathan McCulloch is in, uh, uh, he's near Manchester, he says, you. He said Manchester schools are run by, you know, belligerent ghouls run Manchester schools. Spineless swines, cemented mines. He does them to military two step down the nape of my neck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tom, that was interesting. He, he reached out to me and um, asked me to do the show. And uh, so I did. I drove out there and, and did it. Um, what are the bands were from Manchester? I'm not a Metallica fan, Cheech. Um, I, I liked Megadeth, but I, I didn't really care for Metallica. I will say I did love the Ride the Lightning album, but in '86, when uh, Master of Puppets came out, I was kind of like. It sounded like a cartoon of of the album before, so I, I just wasn't that much into it. Oh, well, thank you, Frank. Glasgow, Scotland, home of uh, Simple Minds, Cocteau Twins, the Blue Nile, Big Country. 
Oh, Oasis is from Manchester? You know, I know the Smiths, Hugh. I've been singing... Uh, what the hell's the name of that song? Belligerent... Headmaster Ritual. Belligerent ghouls run Manchester schools. Spineless sp swine cemented mines. Yeah, I never cared for Oasis. Hey, Kim, what's going on? Um, well, you met Duran Duran. Yeah, I, I, I used, I worked for John Taylor from Duran Duran. He had a, uh, a band and his guitar player was out of town and he asked me to do a fill in. So I did a fill in for John. I, I love John. Super nice guy. Great bass player. It was funny too, because I had told him that a kid I used to work with in the 80s used to tell me that Duran Duran was a ripoff of Japan and uh John was like oh that's funny and then he tells a story how he him and Nick Rhodes went to see Japan and after that concert they were like that's what we're going to do who's your dad Ange I had to see a doctor over the phone well then you didn't see him Hungry like the wolf. Well, I don't know what Neurotic Outsiders is. Is that a band? But most unforgettable session for me would have been working with Vinny, um, Matt Rawlings on piano. Um, that was pretty great. Now, Band of Geeks is that kid that's in... Um, Blue Oyster Cult, right? I, I've watched maybe one, but I see it's on. Oh, your dad's from Scotland? With the name like the Chico? Scotland via Italy. Oh, no, no, no. It was called um, John Taylor's Terra something, Cheech. This is before, in fact, this was before John got married. John was living in Venice and uh, so funny. He tells me he's going to go move in with his girlfriend and he's going to help her um, with her clothing company. And I was like, I don't know how smart that is. Meanwhile, it turns out she sold it for $90 million. It was Juicy Couture. Yes, Rich Castellano. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. I, I, I like his personality a lot. I watched them play one song once. But I got to tell you, when I'm watching YouTube, I really don't watch much music stuff. Um, like, I, I watch more like um, uh, different shows. Huh. Okay. Yeah, well, Hugh was in uh, Scotland. The land of Scots. I do watch marble racing. I do like the uh, matchbox racing or Hot Wheels. Um, I forget what the name of that their channel is, but it's hilarious. Really high quality. I watch um, that chapter, which is like a murder show. The guy, he's an Irish kid. And uh, who else do I watch? I'd have to go through my history.
Some bass, yeah. I wouldn't just pull a bass out without having looked to see if it's set up. Sometimes the humidity here gets crazy. Papa Blue, welcome. Ooh, baby, Papa Blue. Bow down, bow. Ah, uh, Joe Williams. So I saw Joe Williams with Toto, I want to say like three years ago. I, I saw them on the 40th Around the Globe tour. Really, just 5,000? That is a big city. Well, yeah, Dave. Um, Blackberry Smoke. Hmm. I can't get into them. I find it to be just uh, generic. Whiskey Myers, I haven't heard. And Steel Woods, I haven't heard. But Blackberry Smoke, a lot of people talk about them. And I have a student that always asks me to teach them their songs. And when I listen to it, I'm like, like, I don't go back after he leaves. I'm not like, oh, I got to go back and listen to it. I'm, I've had enough. Hey, Paul. Um, but I do like Southern rock stuff. I mean, I'm a, I was an Almond Brothers fan. I, I love Skinner. I liked, um, uh, what was that band? There's a Gator in the Bush. Uh, Molly Hatchet. I don't know, like, it comes across as, like, Southern hippie. Yes, Cheech. It does. All of it goes with me. Thirty eight special. Yeah, I like thirty eight special. Although I don't really find their songs to be that southern rockish. I feel like it's pop, like eighties pop. Um, you know, Jim Petterick was the writer with um Jeff Carlisi. And I even think Jeff Carlisi even made comments about it not really being Southern rock. There's some flavor in there. But it's really more like just pop rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, I mean, like, caught up in you, hold on loosely, fantasy girl. Uh, Dixie Dregs were awesome. Rod Morgenstern, Steve Morse, that's a great band. I also like Steve Morse's first solo record, The Introduction. I dug that album. All right, Jonathan. Hey, thanks so much for stopping in and saying hello. Hello. Hello again. Bow, dow, 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 dow. All right. Thank you, Paul. And Paul, you're over where we are in like, uh, you're in the Midwest somewhere. Where are you? Are you in, um, why am I thinking Michigan, but not Michigan? Does anyone like coconuts? What the hell, Ange? Oh, that is funny. The General Lee. What was the first song called, Tom? Uh, oh, yeah, The Outlaws, Brian Wirch. Welcome back. Yep. What was his name? Jim something. I always forget his name. Green grass and high tides forever. 
I also like, you know, he loves easy. Oh, outside Ohio. Okay. Oh, you're not that far. I also liked, um, it was green grass and high tides. What was the, um, Oh, I used to like ZZ Top, but there was another Texas band that I liked. Point Blank. Cruise Missile. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Yeah, Cruise Missile was the first song. I like that song a lot. And then the General Lee, yeah. Boy. Yeah, it was a good record, Tom. Anyone here remember that Texas band, Point Blank? Am I a promiscuous girl? I don't even understand. Which bad company, Rogers or How? Um, both are good. I do like the Rogers version. I I, I love Side One of uh, Desolation Angels. I, I really like the Run with the Pack album, and I love the first album. Steve White, my Nicole. So, Steve, here's a story for you. You'll appreciate this. I'm working at a restaurant. I'm singing the song to this girl, Nicole. I'm going, oh, Nicole. And she jumps right in and starts singing, my sweet Nicole. So I said to her, I go, I can't believe you know the song. She goes, well, I'm Nicole. I said, yeah, you know how many Nicoles I sang it to? She goes, no, no, you don't get it. I'm Nicole. My father was Bubba Keith of uh, Point Blank. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, she told me that her father used to... Uh, her father used to sing it when she was a baby and the guitar player was like, I'm going to turn it into a song. And then he wrote a song and that was their big hit. Oh, that's funny. Which mask, Ange? OFC? What does OFC mean? Ange, what does OFC mean? Really? I got to tell you, I never was a huge Deep Purple fan. I, I don't think of them on the, on the upper echelon of bands. They would be like the B-roll. Like if there was a match game TV show for musicians, the members of Deep Purple would be on it. I like Todd. I think um, I think Todd Rundgren's a good player, a good writer. I like his voice. Oh, of course. Jeff Beck. Mm. I, I'm not a huge, like, I'm not a big fan of Jeff Beck. Uh, it just doesn't do anything for me. I, this, I'm about songs, and I just don't think he has any songs. I mean, there's some stuff on the first album with Rod Stewart that I like. Um, what metal do I like? I like Titanium. I like Aluminum. Thank you. No, I like everything. I like, uh, I go back and love Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, but modern stuff. I like Slipknot. I like um, the Deftones. I like Anthrax's la latest album. I thought it was good. Who the hell is Van Romaine? 
He's the nephew of Van Romaine. Oh, really? I have school bus spinach over here. <laughs> yeah, Avenged Sevenfold. I liked the one album with um, the Beast and the Harlot there, uh, Bat Country. Oh, okay, Van Romaine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The, the Ian Gillen album I liked with Deep Purple was uh, Who Do We Think We Are? I, I, I don't know where Krell is. The Fudge. Captain Beefheart. He was fun. I didn't love it, but it, I didn't hate it. Is The Fudge Vanilla Fudge? Is that what you're trying to say? I, I love Paul Rogers' voice. I, I loved him in Free. I loved him in Bad Company. I love him in The Firm. Queen, not so much. Queenie has no business being near that band. Oh, okay. Set me free, why don't you, babe? Get out of my life, why don't you, babe? Yeah, I mean, that's all before my time. And when I was a kid, I mean, I was born in 68. So when I was, you know, 10 years old, if someone said Vanilla, F oh, you saw them twice, huh? That's a great band. Tell me, baby, what it is you need. Yeah, he shouldn't be singing with Queen. It's just absurd. You know what I thought would have been cool if Paul Rogers joined up with Robin Trowa when James Dewar died? Oh, yeah, Cheech. Yeah. Uh, the firm was great. I want just to lay with you. Neither should the new guy. Yeah, I love trial. Yeah. Um, a metal guy to a storyteller. I like it all, Dan. You know, um, I got to tell you, I hated Bruce Springsteen growing up. I, I absolutely hated it. And it wasn't until I was about 18 when I was like, oh, I get this. This is good. And I right around the time I got into Tom Waits. And um, I, at some point, I just accepted I, I like it all. You know, I always liked what I liked. I was a Kiss fan growing up. So, you know, I had my head up my ass. Um, yeah. I mean, I like the first three Kiss albums, but I mean, I was a Kiss fan. And then, you know, like then as I got older, you know, when I hear songs like Show and Tell or Me and Mrs. Jones, I always love those. I always associate that with being very young. But, you know, when I was 18, 
um, I started liking a lot of other music besides metal. And, and mainly I got really into Toto and Steely Dan. And then after that, I was open to The Cure, The Smiths, Depeche Mode. I listened to everything. But I still, uh, <laughs> there you go, you. It's great. But I still liked hard rock and metal. I just, I liked, I just ended up liking everything. What I don't like is when, um, when I see people talk about music and like they'll talk about metal and they talk about it like everything in metal is good and everything in metal is not good. Everything in any style is not good. There's good and there's bad. There's good metal, there's bad metal. There's good R&B, there's bad R&B. There's good rap, there's bad rap. There's good, you know, everything. Oh, wow, Papa Blow. Yeah. Well, like I said, I like Kiss's first three albums, and I do like Alive, but, like, I can't listen to Destroyer. I think Destroyer is terrible. Yeah, Steely Dan, there's a harmony in, in the chords that I really dig. And I got into a lot of funk, and when I was 22, I played in an all-black band, and... um I had, you know, I had to learn a lot of songs I never heard before. And I had to learn like a lot of deep cuts from Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I loved it all. And I love those changes they used and um, the chords. And I, I'm attracted to that. Then as far as playing lead stuff, I was always a, like, I could always play leads. Yeah, there's a lot of terrible rap out there. Keep the drip. Is the drip coffee? Yeah, I got into ACDC um, when Back in Black came out. And then a buddy of mine was like, you got to listen to Highway to Hell. And then we went backwards going through the albums. I got Power Ridge. And then um, 81, For Those About to Rock, came out. But then they re-released um, Dirty Deeds. Carry Too Smooth? No. No. Like, if I want to hear, like, R&B, I like listening to, like, Teddy Pendergrass. I like the classics. How do I listen to a song and pick out the chords? Um, I just hear them. You can hear them. Um... Uh, you can, I don't know, I, I can't really describe it other than the fact that it's like if you said um, a sentence and asked me to pick out the words, I would just tell you what the words you said were. Same with chords, I just hear them. Sometimes there may be an extension in the chords where I'm like, wait a second, what is that? Especially if it's um, a tension, like if it's a flat nine. Um, sharp 11s I tend to hear more, but flat 9s can be tough. I have no idea what Angelina is talking about. Yes, it's, um, nah, it just happens over time. I I'll tell you what was nuts was um, we did a record and we did it with uh, Matt Rawlings on piano. Now, Matt Rawlings is a session pianist, plays on a ton of stuff, but he was mainly for a long time Lyle Lovett's piano player. And I played this guitar piece for him, and he sat there writing it out in real time. Like, just and I, I played it once. And then he was like, at one point, he says, Can you play the bridge one more time? 
and he and I played it and he looked and he was like, okay. And then we recorded him and it was like one take. He had every nuance nailed. So when someone's impressed that I can hear a chord in a song, I'm like, yeah, that's nothing. You know, I've seen, there's always somebody out there that can do something 10 times better. And he was unbelievable. Oh, that's funny, Les. Yeah, it was nuts. It really was crazy. Oh, okay. Yo, I, oh, I have no idea who he is. Yeah, so I thought you meant he was an artist, Tom. Uh, I don't have perfect pitch. I have what's called perfect relative pitch, which isn't perfect. I have relative pitch. Um, if the guitar player is tuned to E flat and he plays a song, I will call off that E flat as an E. If he's tuned a whole step down, I probably will hear that. But a half step, I won't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, also, um, yeah, I mean, if a song is playing, I mean, like when I hear like Iron Maiden, all I hear is six, four, fives. I can hear the progression of the of the scale going from six, four, five. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Ange. Ange, you need to tune that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there's always so many great people. The thing to do is when you when you're trying to work and make a living at playing, you just want to do you. You want to make sure you can go in and do. I've turned gigs down. I had a guy call me up. He was a a buddy of mine who was a producer and he did a lot of sports um music for the background for like ESPN and stuff. And he called me up and he's like, I need this guy. I need like something that sounds like the edge. I said, don't call me for this. He's like, oh, I'll pay. And he tells me what it paid and paid great money. And he's like, it'll only take you an hour. I'm like, yeah, it won't. It'll take me two hours and I don't want to do it. And um, I forget what he said. He said he's going to call someone and ask if he knew somebody. And he ended up getting a guy that does tours with the, the, and he said the guy nailed the part and he was in and out like in 15 minutes. And I said, that's why you get someone that does that. It didn't even sound remotely attractive to me. So I was like, I'm not going to do that kid. Cause if I went there and did it and then whatever, he may have been not happy and went and got somebody else and would have been like, well, I won't call him first, but he called me up after was like, thanks for being so honest with me. That doesn't, that it didn't sound like something I would do well. And I'm like, you know, he, then he, of course he hires me for like a million other things. <laughs> I am not an insect dange. Oh God. You love Jay Quellen. You love busting Jay Quellen's chops. Uh, 
yeah, you have to be able to transcribe stuff, write it out. Um, so Angelina, who, Ange, how long have you been playing guitar now? Um, when I teach Angelina a song, I make her chart it out. So she can read charts and she can play. And um, I would probably say better than most people that play on her level. She would be like impressive to the point where she can um, read the music and play it. She understands pushes and hesitations. Um, she understands, you know, just counting and. So I, I make her chart everything. Hey, Javon. But yeah, you have to learn how to play to a chart and not be afraid of it. And you have to learn how to... Uh... <laughs> okay, almost four years. Yeah, and she can read charts and write charts. Hey, Dave Kehoe, thanks so much for hanging out, my friend. But yeah, I mean, the, the trick is to be able to play and then also to make it your own. You have to, you know, when you get a chart, sometimes you want to hear the track because you only need to know the chart for what you're hearing. It may not have anything to do with what you're playing. Um, Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cheech, I work on my own guitars. I mean, for other things like... Um, Painting, like right now, my neck is in paint. I send it off to my guy who's up the street from me here. I'm building a guitar that I'm going to auction on my channel. And um, because it, it's been a long story, but I build these guitars that I buy from Craigslist and sell the necks, put new pickups in. You know, I call it building it, but it's I'm putting it together like it's uh, like it's Lego. And um, so I figured people would want to buy a custom shop feeling instrument for very little, like I do. So I'm putting it together. Because like a guitar like this, I would put up against any Fender. I put this up against any, this was a Mexican Strat body. The Marzio area, 58 pickups, 54 in the bridge. I got the Graftech saddles. This is a Warmoth neck. It's made of Wenge with an ebony fingerboard. I had a laser shop, laser the logo in. Filled with acrylic paint. It is a V-neck. Look at that grain. Yep. The fingerboard. Let me see. There you go. You can see the fingerboard is scalloped on the high frets like that, just from the high strings. So when I go to um, when I go to grab it, if I'm playing a, here comes Ange. Yeah, Fender would charge about five grand. The thing cost me right around a thousand, maybe nine hundred, I think. Oh Jesus! Is my camera off? Uh, it is right now, but hold on. I can have what it go the... on. There, something it should go just, on now. Something just happened to my computer. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, well, heck? smooth jazz, so I'm not selling it. But the thing is, if I would have put it together, I would ask 1200 And then see if anybody... You can mine for free. Yeah, so uh, is that personal or for sale? No, that's my personal one. The one that's for sale right now, the neck is in paint. It's, um, you'll see, it's going to be nice. I, it's going to look like David Gilmore's, but it'll, it'll be nicer. Now, is that and, the yellow one that you were talking about? No, the yellow one's mine. This one's, this one's uh, black. Oh, that was the other one. No, no, the, the black, 
the black one is um, Michael JB. So it is a it is a Fender Mexican body. Demarzio pickups, Area Fifty Eight, Area Fifty Eight Pro Fifty Four in the bridge. Um, everybody, welcome, Ange. Ben Tom is saying welcome. It oh, is going to have a warmth neck. The it's going to have a Dan Smith logo, which is the larger Fender logo on a small '50s headstock. It'll have a custom Dave's Guitar Channel um, neck plate, and uh, yes, we're going to play classical gas right now, Tom. No, I'm kidding. The neck is a one and three quarter with Clapton V with the higher frets scalloped. Um, if you guys are on my Instagram here, this is my, let me, in the chat, let me see if I, that's my Instagram name. All Dave right. Underscore Levine. Yeah. That's my Instagram. So you can see the neck on Instagram right now. Brian Wirch says, welcome. Hello. Yes, this one has jumbo frets, 6,100 stainless steel frets. Um, Dan of New Jersey says, welcome. Hello. So yeah, Papa Blue, it's going to have all the, uh, it's basically going to be a guitar that I would play. I, I like them wider at the nut because I play like a lot of chords and I hate a narrow nut width. Dwight Bailey says, welcome. Welcome. Um, it should be ready about mid-December, Michael. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I mean, and I have it all mapped out what it costs, what I pick, what I have into it. Um, you'll be able to see the whole breakdown. I have to say every people are at an advantage because I got the guitar for 300 bucks, the Mexican Strat. And then I turn around and I sell the neck and all that is in the, you know, you'll see all that broken down. Cam Wiener says hello. Oh, tell Cam I say hi. Hi, Dave. <laughs> hey, Cam. I see you doing the blue lights today. As you can see, uh, Angelina has all the Billie Eilish pictures behind her on the wall. There, there you go. Is your mom There's home? Where is, she, where is she at work? Where's my mom? Yeah, I said, is she home or is she at work? She's upstairs. Oh, she's home. She was at work. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, Tom. Uh, I do like maple necks. I like maple. I like wenge with ebony fingerboards. I have a couple of maple with ebony fingerboards. Um, cedar, uh, cedar wood. Billy Idol. Yeah, she has Billy Idol all over her wall. Yeah. A lightweight warmth strat. You got to do it in coral. And then you got to get, I'll tell you what to do. Do it in coral. And then get a solid rosewood neck. What color should With I cool. keep the lights? Blue? Clay dots. I like it. I like the blue. It's a it looks more like the light blue on here, um, but it's I think Ange is 16. What are you saying? Yeah, I'll be 17 in January. Yeah. Yep, Tom, you're right on. Dan, what's happening? 
Yeah. Angelina plays a um what do you what's what's the epiphone one you have? It's like a uh melody maker. What one? The one that looks like Green Day. Okay, less Paul custom. No, it's not a custom. It's like a um well, Oh, it's a Les Paul oh. Jr. or special. I can get it. You want me to get it? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me go dig out a closet. Yeah, Hanoi, I love the Tahitian coral. Especially with like a rosewood neck. It's a yeah. junior. What? It's a junior. Oh, Les Paul Jr. Okay. Yeah, she plays a Les Paul Jr. and a uh, Strat. Inca Silver. No. Oh, yeah, really? About the one that you got for me, yeah, Dave. Ange, what is, yeah, I said that a strat. What is the peep? What is peep the um? What does that peep mean? The, peep the drift. Yeah. Like peep the fit, like the outfit, like take a look at my outfit. Oh, basically. Oh. Well, I knew peep was look at. Tortoise God, come on, Hanoi, you're killing me. I think he goes with a parchment guard, a uh, no, no, Tahitian coral is much lighter, maybe close. All right, how about this? What's that blue? Um, I don't know why I can never. Oh, hey, thanks, Dan. Oh, what, what did I post? Oh, okay, yeah. What is not Tahitian coral? What's the blue that Howie has? Anyone remember? I always forget this blue. Okay, I'll do age mint before I do tortoise, so I'll give you that. What's the blue from the 60s? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Couldn't tell you. Drip. What? I said, couldn't tell you. Oh my God, I gotta look it up. I can't believe it. I, Dave, do you, want, do you want to peep my drip? Hold on. Once I find out what color this thing is, not cobalt blue. What is this blue? Right there. What is this blue? Seriously? Lake Placid Blue. Oh, yeah. See, everyone, Smooth Jazz was saying it a hundred times. Yes, Lake Placid. Thank you. Sorry, Smooth Jazz. No, not Daphne. Daphne's a 50s and Sonic is like a late 50s, early 60s. Yeah, Lake Placid. Yep, that's the one that Howie has. That would look good, Tom. Lake Placid Blue with a parchment guard. Blueberry. Well, Sonic is like powder blue, and Sonic and Daphne are really close.
How's it going? Hey, Corel, there you are. I was, I was looking up and I saw you had your mic mute and your camera didn't come in yeah. yet. What is this line here on your screen? What is that? Is that the uh, shelf? Yeah. It's it's a crappy camera setup. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> before, you said, before you said Lake Placid blew a million times, I said it once. Oh, I didn't even see I it. Came I, in, I came in just as you were asking that. I go, oh, Lake Placid. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I always forget that damn color. I like it, too. Sorry, Smooth Jazz. Don't want to steal your thunder, but. Um, so Rob itself, you know how to send that to my email. Send it to me. I don't have a clue who made it. Let's see. Krylon. <laughs> well, the thing is, you don't have to use a Fender Blue. You can use any color you want. You know, you don't have, you can make up a, go to Home Depot and mix up the paint. Hey, Hugh. Hey, Dwight. Hey, Terry. Hi, Lori. Oh, yeah, yeah, Anyone that's else? right. I forgot that you're colorblind. Hello, Angelina. How's the guitar playing coming? Pretty good. Good day. Uh... Hey, Daniel. Yes, she learned a Billie Eilish song today. And a Redbone song. Down, 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 down. Oh, really, That's Smooth? He, he went out to eat and messaged me. He might come on after. Uh, if I remember right, Fender had three, each and a paste metallic and a basic like primary oh a pastel uh yeah well those pastels were from the 50s i think though still they they carried over go to earl scheib i love your body Was Krell wearing a college a college shirt? Yeah, yeah, I know this was laying around. It's one of my old uh, one of my old company shirts from years ago. Uh, 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 uh. Can't really see the. There's the logo. What was it? In a place called Comtran. They're long gone. Well, they're still around. Uh, they're long gone as far as place I work. Now let me ask you, is your girlfriend already asleep in bed? Uh, she could be. She's in bed right now. All right. Because, uh, yeah, the other night I was getting a little loud and she came in and goes, ah! <laughs> Keep it down. I had the door open too, so. <laughs> MVP That's says that I wash my face or something. Yeah, all the hair came off. It's starting to grow back, though. No, she doesn't know Cam. Um, she knows a different Cam. Is your friend Cam still on the phone? Um, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he's asking if you know Laurie's son, Cam, that plays drums. I don't know. Redbone guys were huge duo in L.A. Mitch Heyman, welcome, sir. Hey, Mitch. Do, 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 do. You know what? That's one of my least favorite John Williams scores. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we used to have to play play it in high school, wind ensemble. Well, uh, can you read my mind? Wasn't a bad one. Well, that was Maureen McGovern, right? Maureen McGovern. Oh, uh, the the. Is that the title in uh, Superman? Thing? Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's Maureen McGovern. That's Maureen McGovern. 
Yeah. Can you read oh. my mind? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought that was, I thought that was John Williams. And it, well, I, Maureen sings it. I don't know who mm. the Daphne Blue or Lake Placid. I'll take Lake Placid for the win. I've got a Daphne Blue strap. I, I like, let me see what Lake Placid, how dark it is. Oh, yeah, I like Lake Placid. That, that's a cool, yeah, it's a cool blue. Oh, yeah, that, that's too cool. I'm a big fan of blue. Okay, that's nice. Pat and Lolly Vegas, yeah. I like Lolly better. <laughs> lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Exactly. Uh, no, but Lolly's the one who sang the uh, hey, mm -hmm. oh, now it looks like you've descended into hell. <laughs> and who's no, who's no Florence Henderson? Smooth Jesse, uh, she's no Florence Henderson. Now that's Westonality. Have you seen my niece, Jacinta? Is it Jacinta or Jacinta? I have not. Um, I, I. She is what? A, she sings? What does she do? Me? No, I know what you do. Where's Joseph? Uh Wolfish is upstairs. What's he doing? Um, probably just playing Xbox. Playing some. I Xbox. can't believe I can't believe Cam's a junior. Thank you. Oh, oh, that was uh, she sings, plays acoustic guitar and piano, does covers. I want to get her a music gift for the holidays. Would you be willing to do a one time lesson? Yeah, of course. Um, my niece and nephew brought over some comfort food, and I can't taste any of it. That sucks. Yeah, um, any, well, we could talk about that, Tom. It's not a problem. All right, this looks like a... Okay, guys, I'm going into... Uh, well, not yet. Hold on, I will in a second. I'm going to share the screen in a minute. I'm saving a picture that Robert sent. Um, It's a Gibson clone. My email is here. I'm going to put it right here. There you go. A flying car. Roads? Where we're going, there is no roads. Mitch Heyman says, you see that Comcast is going to implement data caps in January for people in Northeast. Well, I don't care. I've got Verizon. So. I have Verizon, too. And that's the beauty. Of, yeah, Comcast can cap it all they want. I'll just switch to a different provider. What are they? What, what are they? What do you mean, data caps? Me mean, mean they're gonna the amount of data that each person get. Like, it, like I have a hundred up, hundred down right now. That they'll get reduced to a flat rate 
you know, it's like you can't go over this certain rate. Of it. And it had to do with that whole net neutrality thing. And I can't remember what side of the argument that falls on, but uh, it's it's where the government wants to have the prime uh, prime internet service, uh, you know, for their purposes and, uh, you know, big businesses and stuff. And us little plebs, we just get the lousy data. That, that's, that was the assumption, but. In excess, taste it. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. So this is uh, Robert Self's guitar. Can you guys see that? Yes. It's a Les Paul type of clone knockoff. Something wonky about it. This pickup on the bottom oh. here is not straight. Okay. It's 1.2 terabytes of data you can use at home. Anything over that, they'll charge you extra. That's a crock. Once that happens, I'm going offline. That, that's, a, that's a bad road to be going down. Yeah, but that's Comcast. Yeah, it's Comcast. But it happens, but will switch to Verizon, and then they'll, they'll stop it. Yeah, but well, what if Verizon decides to do it as well? You know, it's. Oh, this looks like the headstock had a crack on it. This is a weird looking guitar. Where did you pick that up from, Robert? Oh, they, these are for people on unlimited, not on an unlimited plan. Oh, geez, this is this has to. Be. So do what the phone sounds like. Yeah. Well, no, it says home internet data cap. So, but uh, but apparently Comcast must have had uh, home internet uh, services that were uh, not not unlimited. Oh, so you picked now, that up for sixty bucks, Robert. Dave, peep the drip. What is that? A mask? Sleeping mask. What do you need a sleeping mask for? I sleep with my eyes open. You do? That's unique. Christ. Unique New York. Unique and creepy. <laughs> Somebody you, almost like... You know, seeing someone snoring with their eyes open. Somebody almost like reported me dead at their house and I was just sleeping. They thought I was dead. Actually, um, I so think... let me ask you this. Do you blink while you sleep? Are you like... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wow. Uh, my eyes aren't like wide open. They're just like... They're open though. You, you don't sleep like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's more like <laughs> right. They just and think yes. it's stoned. <laughs> kind of, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. What is the best sixty dollars? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Ernie Rodriguez, welcome. Mitch, you coming in? Come on in, Mitch. I haven't seen you on my show in a while. I think it's just about time for me to go to sleep. Yeah, I was going to say, don't you have to be up tomorrow? It's a school uh, night. Yeah, at 5.45 in the morning. Oh, my. You guys, how come you don't have virtual school like everybody else? We do. At 5.45? Just, 
No, tomorrow she has to go oh. in, though. I go, well, okay. What so you go, Monday, Mon Tuesday? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday is a half day, and then Thursday, Friday, you have off. But, well, virtual right. school, which is kind of bogus. Don't really do anything. Yeah. Well, next year at this time, I don't think you should. You're gonna have anything to worry about. Thank God. Maybe it'll be the it'll be the last year, and I won't have anything to worry about. Yeah. What What are you this year? A junior. That's right. that's good because you know. I mean, I feel bad for the uh, class of 2020. They couldn't have their regular graduation. Even 2021 is. I don't think they're gonna have one either. Really. Or at least that's what they were saying at the time. Uh, they can't see that far into the future. Right? Yeah. It's, you know, it's, if this vaccine comes through, it should be okay. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> yeah, they, they get days off, MVP. Right, exactly. Well, it's like uh, when someone said, how the you know, oh, I just made it just in time because the virus would have got me at 10.01. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Yeah, Laurie, they, completely. They, like, they leave the call super early. So, like, if you wake up late and you have to get on and, like, say you're up five minutes late, they could be already off the call by the time you join or try to join. Right. That's crazy. Well, I think ben Tom has us. Hey, Laurie. Is All right. On? Hi. Hi, Andrew. Ange. about to head out. Hi. Put your mask on. Don't you want to see any eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, you could stay on. Just fall hey, asleep yeah. in front of camera and we can see the phenomenon. <laughs> that's creepy though when it people's eyes are open I'd be the only one on the zoom call and you guys would all be gone I'd be sleeping just well you know there, there's an advantage to that when you get out into the workforce so you're at, at your desk you fall, fall asleep right. at your desk with your eyes open and it's like oh they're hard at work just hold the paper in front of you please. you know what the other advan advantage is that the Krell's talk and you can pretend you're listening yeah <laughs> <laughs> But you can really sleep through the whole damn thing. <laughs> just, it's kind of hey, Daniel, how I just just like pretend you're listening, just like doze off. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Well, let me ask you this: When you're in a classroom, Tom or Ange, can, can you mute? Do you mute your microphone? Oh, I mute my microphone. I turn off the camera. And if they ask me a question, I'm like, sorry, I'm having te technical difficulties at the moment. Can't unmute myself. Oh, no, Tom. I didn't know that. That's funny. So, Ange, they make you check in on the virtual days? Because my son's 16 and he's like, we don't have to do anything except just our assignments. They don't yeah, have to no, check in they with their make us anything. go in every hour. Ugh. And you're a junior. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me while oh. I eat my eclair. <laughs> I tell you, some of the best school is homeschooling when the parents nice. know what they're doing. Custard inside. Cold, Looks creamy like that custard. Bite, you, didn't reach, you didn't reach the custard in that one yet. Oh, yeah. I got a little. It's at the bottom. Oh, you did? Can't see it in the light. Yeah, All right, Ian. We'll have a good much. day at school tomorrow. I won't. That's, that's what I mean. Good luck. Well, what's the macro for, Fessler? I'm not sure what that's in reference to. I know what a macro is, but what's the macro runner? Bye, guys. All right. Late, Ange. Ange. Catch you late, Ange. Later. MVP says, Crowbot, tell her a story. Let's see if her eyes really work. <laughs> <Stay> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> hey, MVP, screw you. Uh. You can say it to me, too. I came up with a joke. <laughs> oh, you did? Uh, screw you, too. Go eat I, your... I, 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 <laughs> Elroy, so you, I think you work at a... Uh, oh, you work at Sam Ash. That's right. Charlie S., welcome. Mitch Heyman, welcome. 
I know you've been in for a while, but I told you to get in the room. Yeah, Mitch, I got six of these at the market down the street. How much? They're, just so they're cold, you know. How much were they? How much? Yeah. I never look at price tags when it comes to snacks. <laughs> the reason why I ask is, was it more expensive than just going to Dunkin' Donuts and getting and getting uh, six Boston creams? Can I tell you, Boston creams are better than the Eclairs. Like, this is a more of a... It's, it's drier. Sweet. I can see that's dry. Yeah. Can't well, you can't if the going. eclairs are made right, and now if you go to Wright's Farm, dairy, their eclairs are out of this world. And Thomas, student told you to. Oh, that's a that? hell of a that's a hell of a commute, then, huh? Go to North Smithfield. No, to get the oh. if the eclairs are out of this world. Oh Jesus! Oh. Sure, <laughs> right over my head. <laughs> No, seriously. Um, I, I think the Boston creams, the Boston cream might be the only donut worth a piss at Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Mm. Well, what I don't like about the uh, donuts at uh, Dunkin' Donuts is that no matter what donut it is, the dough is awful. Well, because they were made four days ago. It's not soft anymore. I know. Well, they used to make them fresh, remember? Oh, Tom, I yeah, the fat donuts guy. Donuts made fresh every day in the morning. <laughs> no, good. Remember that ad? Time yep. to make the donuts. Yeah, where he where he poses as the woman on there just to Which, scalp out the other donut places. First of all, they completely stole the Woody Allen movie "Everything You Want to Know About Sex" when Lou Jacoby's in the street dressed as a woman. He's covering his mustache. This guy looks like Lou Jacoby, <laughs> so they're like, "We're yeah. gonna have you dressed as a woman and go." I never made that connection. Looked... What's that? I never no, made I that, that connection. Oh, it's exact. Boston cream pie is good. Oh my god, I should have got the Boston cream pie at the same market because they have, but they have like a little plastic around the edge though. You're supposed to peel off, and it takes all the chocolate off with it. Pisses me off. But then mm -hmm. you just take the plastic and eat it. The knife. Kind knife. donut you want. Queen eat day, his cake I yesterday. want day old. I didn't see him. Well, he told me before. He goes, you, you know, when you get those cakes that have like a ton of frosting, and you take a piece out, but like the curly frosting part stays on the serving dish, Box. and then you just swipe it with your finger. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so we were doing that to the the cake yesterday on the table. <laughs> like, get the, the honey. Get the honey. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have Krispy Kreme, but we did have the for some reason. Is, is the talk about Christopher Cream again? Mohegan Sun. Yeah, uh, but I, I remember like in the early two thousands, uh, Stop and Shops. I, I went to a Stop and Shop in Warwick, and they were selling Krispy Kremes in there. Not, not as like a, a store in there, but Krispy Kreme had a thing set up, and they were selling them. Yeah, I think like you can go into Roach Brothers or like something like that, and they have them in the bakery. But how fresh are they? I mean, they're shipping them. Get the honey. How many people I are having have, pie on Thursday? I haven't even thought about dessert yet. I have dessert I picked, up a, I picked up a pie today. Today for Thursday? Yeah. Gotta get a Thursday morning. Thursday morning, yeah, right. Get a pumpkin pie. Um, MVP, that's called consistency. Thanks, Bezler. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great uh, reputation to have. <laughs> What was your best score? I haven't gotten a turkey yet, and I heard that everybody's just hoarding them, and that I might not even find one by now. What? Where's this? I mean, there's plenty of turkeys all over the place. Well, I think they want the small ones because no one's entertaining. Oh, oh. I don't want like a thirty-pound one. Well, geez, you know, just take the meat and put it in a freezer. Uh, Elroy Shredding Krispy Kreme oh, makes a custard-filled. Um, Chocolate frosted, which I think they call the Boston cream there as well, which is the same as an eclair, but better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know why I got the eclairs. I, I like everything that they're mentioning much better, but I just haven't had an eclair in a while. And they were they were right behind the cupcakes that I got. So I, grabbed I don't I don't find that glazed donuts over over sugary. It's like, I mean, the glaze is pretty sugary, but I mean, the glaze is so thin on it. I mean, the donut itself it's kind of. So Fluffy. I don't know. Yeah, they had that, to that's... Sugar, but it's fluffy. Tom, you're murdering several pumpkin pies. I, I'm not a huge pumpkin pie person. It's kind of got a snotty texture. 
I don't know. I like the Boston cream or the chocolate cream. I mean, in my face. Yeah, apparently. they're not holding to toilet paper in my area. Yeah, they're not hoarding in here either. Yeah. It's, I mean, people wised up. People are starting. I, I don't. I, I see toilet paper everywhere, but. Well, toilet I, paper I think... everywhere. Not a drop to drink. <laughs> What's that? <clears throat> Rhyme most, that mo most stores are saying one per customer. You know, in one package. So it's so that's the wise thing to do. Dave, maybe that song will become popular again if uh, toilet paper starts disappearing. Oh, God. I went down to Walmart on a keeper. I couldn't find <laughs> toilet oh, paper. <laughs> There's nothing worse than... The like, devil went down to Walmart. That's it. <laughs> hey, we do the make up lyrics. We do the, so be we do the Beastie Boy song, No Shit to Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> no shit. Till Brooklyn. Papa Blue. Hi, Papa Blue. It's a great name. Reminds Ooh, me of Baba baby. Papa. Was Hold Baba on, guys. Papa Blue? I'm having a technical difficulty. Hold on one sec. I, I need to get my repair man in here to fix it. Oh, good Lord. Well, I, I have some spare <laughs> toilet paper in that when it was scarce. I mean, all I could get were these industrial rolls that they were selling no-name brands. So, you know, yeah. I got like a dozen of those until uh, toilet paper was on sale again. I haven't used those yet because, you know. Hi, Mick. I can only imagine how it is. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? Costco has those huge pumpkin pies right now. They're enormous. Ginormous? Exactly. My oh, wife is... Yeah. Just My take wife some is hoarding the toilet paper. Just take some can of pumpkin pie mix and she? some graham she crackers and just paper? spread it on. How many do you, how many do you have? How many <laughs> cases of toilet paper did you have? I don't know. Maybe 30 some. I don't know. <laughs> really? I mean, it's like 30 rolls. 30 some rolls. And are they double rolled? Uh, is it Northern or do you guys buy Scots? I don't. I had no idea. I, don't I get Scots. I just Wilkins. use it. <laughs> You get I don't scotch? get quilted. Quilted, quilted sticks all over the place, and it it Come on. clogs I need in the to toilet. Hear about your dingles. <laughs> Everyone's got dingles. All right, change the change the. Uh, it's it's more like cl Klingles, Klingles. Oh. Chris, Chris Chris Klingles. No, just Chris Klingle. <laughs> all right. Oh. Called you Papa you Blue. As well as, you using Scott's tissue. You may as well just rub that ass down with some sandpaper. <laughs> <Scott>. <laughs> what do we got here? When you're my age, this is what you need. Oh, jeez. What oh, is that? Man. Headphones? Mine just came in today for the TV. Wipe your ass with? Oh, uh, for the same. What, what, what brand did you get? Uh, I got uh, Jelly Comb. Um, How much Bluetooth? were yours? This is like 40 bucks. But this yeah, it doesn't this work off 50. of Bluetooth. This works off of a uh, two point four gigahertz. Yeah, but it works good. Optical. <laughs> yes. It's, what are you guys talking yeah. about? Well, Bluetooth, have, Bluetooth phones? Well, you you could yeah. use Bluetooth. Yeah, I have, um, I have a pan next to my bed. Yeah. See, I for my TV. Actually, I had to get a new TV. And um, but you know, you know when you're watching a movie and you know everything's loud and you can't hear the dialogue. So I said. Uh, <laughs> Let me, I mean, I do have a sound bar, but uh, anyway, I, I wanted to get, so I got a cheap pair of Bluetooth. It worked, but it was cutting out. Just a real cheap pair of earbuds. Closed caption, but, baby. That's what I do. I do that, so, well, when I watch my foreign movie. My, you know, you'll have ah. to do it when you watch your foreign. Well, what movie. I hate is I, I'm kind of close to a road here. and people. Hey, Jeff, what's going here. on? And so it, yeah. it's Hi, like when me. people are loud outside, it, I'll be watching a movie and someone would say something and I can't hear. I got to rewind it. So. I just shoot my gun two or three times. They're gone. <laughs> I don't have a gun. Get off my street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, see, my wife, she saw, saw that article about the data cap. She goes, what is this? So she gives me her tablet. You got uh, the said, well, Hanoi bomb says, uh, Han Hanoi bomb. Why did I never can say his name? Murder she wrote gets loud. <laughs> well, I try, I try not yeah. to get too hyped up about news stories until something actually happens because they'll, 
they'll hype something up. Well, they, I know they were doing it other places. Now, in my band, in well, my Comcast situation, Comcast is on the low end of friggin' uh, internet anyway. They they uh, that's, that's the only choice I have here. Fesley, you have to take the bridge and you have to file it down in the bottom, but you can a, still file down the bridge and bring the action down, even if it's a piezo, a piezo, however you pronounce it. I don't like any nut pies. I don't like, like anything but nuts. Pecan yeah, well, when you get, when you get hit in the face with that, it, it can cause some damage. You know what? That nuts. could yeah, take a tooth out. Yeah, you get a pecan shoved up into your brain and. <laughs> That would not be good. Next I'm time I do that, all that, so. shaving cream. It's not next time <laughs> I do it. The slum cast. <laughs> Ooh, it's chilly. Chilly we talk today. About now, Blair's Mitch, have you gotten any... What's that? I'm sorry. I said no. it's chilly today out here. Yeah. Would you like some chili, Scott? Don't do it you hard. See, what am I doing? You ever see Scott, Scott Teneman must die? No. South Park episode. Did you buy any new um, guitars this week, bitch? No. No. Actually, I called up. Oh, I messaged you. Uh, I don't know if you saw it in the chat. I called up my local music store and uh, they do do not do consignment. They'll oh, pay yeah. cash. They'll offer you money for it. They won't do consignment. What do you well, a lot of places sell? will do consignment and put it on reverb for it. Right. What are you trying uh, to sell, Mitch? The PRS SE Custom Mitch, 24. Just put it up on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I I I do that a lot. I, I get so many idiots on there. You would not believe. I, I mean, I have success on there. I just haven't tried it yet. Now, somebody else was selling his. He had the uh, mine is scarlet red. He had one of the other pretty nice colors that were hard to find. And he had his up for six fifty. I think he dropped it to six. It's still up there. He hadn't sold it yet. But um, I what was model thinking is that? that? It's SC... a PR, two, two, uh, 2017 PRS SC Custom 24 Scarlet Red. I mean, I see some used prices. Some of it's going, but I paid cash for it. And some. some what do they stores. go for used? Anywhere from like five uh, five fifty to six seven. Seven, and why do you want to get rid of it? I don't play it. I play them all but that lately. I mean, I mean, lately I've just been playing the EVH. One of those things you probably get rid of and then months down the line, you're like, oh, I wish, uh, wish I had it still. It's it's a nice guitar. The pickups suck in it. They're terrible. But it plays real good. Well, you need to wait till Christmas. Anyhow, you just say you just got a new TV? Yeah, I got... Oh, I thought that was a um, a cabinet or something. No, the other one. Too. The other one. Um, it's I guess the LCD starting going up, going up, and it had a big, not a big, but the size of a maybe a half a dollar bright spot in the middle of it. Yeah. I exactly. mean, it's still watchable. So we get my, I gave it to my daughter. It just gave me a, it gave me a reason to get a 4K TV. But I tell you what, the old one had a better picture than this new one. Just to be clear. You went like this, and you said about the size of a half dollar. Well, <laughs> can I see the half dollars that Look, you block around? Under a magnifying of- glass. <laughs> well, it's a 55-inch TV. <laughs> you have to multiply it. It was, it was. I thought it was a reflection from the lamp, but it, you know, it wasn't. I don't get what you just said. I'll just it doesn't it. matter. Dave does. That's all that matters. <laughs> you have to but, multiply? Uh, it gets bigger on the TV, that, but it's still a half dollar? He's making a bad I'm, joke. I'm, I'm, well, now I'm trying to... I'm trying big. to well, it's not 55 inches. Really, not that big these days. What was, size is the one that's behind you? Same, same thing. I, I had to go. I could only get what could fit on that stand, and that barely fits on my stand. Isn't it amazing when we were just think back 20 years, 25 years? Somebody oh had a 26 God. inch TV or 31 inch TV. You were like, that thing's huge. Now you're saying stuff like, well, a 55 inch isn't that big. Yeah. And all we yeah. got back then was three channels, if we were lucky. Um. No, we got both. It was channel. Yeah, channel four, we five, seven. six, seven, ten, twelve. Uh, that's that's the eight. Yeah, you UHF. still got to get over well over a thousand. Twenty-seven, thirty-eight, fifty-six, forty-four, thirty-six, sixty-four. Right, but the thing is, is ten and four <laughs> were the same channel. The one was yep. a Rhode Island. 
Milwaukee. The other was one like Austin. Was Austin. Oh, God. Same thing with twelve six and, and five were the same. Says, Remember when TV would end says, and they the and national anthem? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Six was Boston. My wife and I, I were talking about that the other day. You don't see that anymore. Oh, six no, was Providence. Awesome. Seven six was Boston. D two, you have to have over a thousand subs before. It probably uh, way more, way more than that before they'll start even offering you. How many uh, subs do you have right now, Mitch? Seven and a half. Oh, uh, really? Three thousand three ninety two. I picked up like five in the last couple of weeks, something like that. Oh, three ninety two. You and Larry are neck and neck. I, I'm I thought stop. you just said seven and a half. What was that? I'm it's, just, a it's a joke. It's a joke. Three and a half. Can you get seven? Three and a half or seven and a half? No, I, I don't. I don't do anything consistent. Yeah, I don't He's got more than anything. me. I know, but my question now. Yeah, but is, you're going to you're going to pass pretty soon with that face. Don't no, don't me. be a negative, <laughs> Nelly. Now, so cute. How, Thank you. Who do you think is going to hit five hundred first? You or Laurie? Laurie. It's, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Would, would you rather see me or would you rather see Laurie? Well, I I'm just saying. Even if she didn't look as good as she did, she plays really good keyboards. Oh, and, thanks. Good, good I'm, at, I'm at ninety nine. <laughs> I'm one short of a hundred. But you don't do you don't try to do anything if you I didn't try to do anything. Right. Yeah, the rabbit is great, Banzini. Yeah, that's all we had when we were a kid, rabbit ears. So we could barely get our three but you it was before PBS. So it was like CBS, NBC, and ABC, your local affiliates. That's all we could be before we PBS. Could then that's before, before PB <coughs> excuse me, before PBS. Before UHF. Oh, the chat comes in later. I forgot. Thanks, guys. No, I'm stuck. I don't I don't get a lot of subs. I actually got a sub today and then my subs went down. Hippie, I'm telling you, it's YouTube. It's not people unsubbing. YouTube for some how, reason will unsub. People how's it up your unsub? I don't know. Are they shutting down your states up there or how is it going up there? We're good. Yeah. curfew or whatever, but yeah, it's 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 10 o'clock curfew. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. It's, See, they, they recommend gonna... we were going to go over my sisters and brothers in Maryland for Thanksgiving. But uh, they recommend if you don't have to work in PA, Maryland, don't travel. And uh, we just cancel. We're yeah. Gonna... In the meantime, people make all these rules. They're going to have their regular Thanksgiving with 20. Oh, they're, they're, yeah. They're showing you all these politicians are complaining and they're the ones that are breaking the rules. Girl. You know, yeah, you're not supposed to have more than 10 people or something. Yeah. We're I just listen to the radio. Yeah. It's up We're to individual do... families to make their own decisions. Yeah. Period. Not the government to be a nanny. You you heard about oh your, th thanks Jeff he he's my hundredth so let me oh. refresh you you all heard about D tube in here didn't you Dave I made a hundred yep. what happened him and his wife has they both have COVID COVID yeah you you, you okay they doing well, actually, okay the doctor said you know what we have good news and bad news you, you may you may not have COVID you've got AIDS thank you <laughs> oh that's, ter that's terrible it is terrible but they're making it out like it's so bad. Remember what Queenie said that yesterday? He said to me, when I when I have them inject me with with COVID for two million bucks, I go, two million, I'll take fifty grand. <laughs> I'll take fifty bucks. As a joke. I like my chances. D2, my um my intro for non-subscribers on my page actually say <laughs> you'll see me eating snacks. So I do advertise that. Now you remember Dave, that joke was going around and it said, um, like you went to the doctors and you had blood work done and it said, phew, I don't have it. And it said COVID negative, but then it said like syphilis and hepatitis C right. were all positive. Yeah, right, like, right, exactly. I don't have it. You see what Hanoi Bob put in there. I, I, you're not too far from being wrong because oh, yeah, these yeah. days you would have to take a bus and I had to walk. I bet you it was probably Back in two, my two three miles when I was a kid, you had to walk to school. I bet you not Back up the hill, but it was a good, it was a good walk. No, well, that's no an old joke. Bus. I think it's a, uh, a Bill Cosby joke, if I'm not mistaken, that he used to have to walk to school uphill both ways in the snow. Yeah. Well, I think it was Bill Cosby. I don't know. He told me and I felt boozy. Huh. Well, you see. <laughs> what? So, well, you know what we're watching? We're watching on uh, on Prime um, Homecoming. It's not too bad. With um, Julia Roberts, at least she was in the first season. What's it about? I don't know it. Um, some kind of cover up with um, these military people came home and they were being treated, but it was like undercover or 
and you got to watch it to see what's. We still don't know what's what's going on yet into the first season, but there's some kind of cover up. But it's not uh, bad. Che- Cheech, at the moment, I own three, three acoustics. Um, by the way, I'm going to save that last um, bit that you just said, Mitch. What? What was the name of the show? Um, Homecoming. 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 That should be a commercial. Here's Mitch Heyman on the TV show Homecoming. No, I don't. Quit it's about one, something or I don't I don't, know, I don't explain. Happened. Well, no, like I, I know. Said, it, there's these military. No, no, no. I already have the clip. But they were being there. <laughs> you already have the clip. They're being treated for uh, what's that? PS, PSD thing, whatever. PTSD. PT and um, but it's like it's a cover up. They and and they're they're drugging these people that forget to forget what um lose their they lose their memory and um it's a cover up. But it's it's got some good people in them. No, good actors. Well, they use them for nefarious purposes then. Let's see. No, not no, not really. But it's got um. What's that? What's it, what's that guy's name? Um, oh, what's that actor's name? Here, let me get. No, I like that guy. Uh, he was in the. Uh, you'll know who I'm talking about. The uh, actor is Homecoming. Joe Bag of Donuts. Now you'll know who he is. Uh, I can I can never forget his name, but Have he plays in a lot of. <laughs> I can never forget his name, but you forgot now. I said I I can never remember his name, but I, <laughs> but. He's in a lot of stuff. He's a good actor. I mean, Cass. I can never remember his name. Oh, oh Bobby Ca- uh, Cannavale, if I'm saying it right. Bobby Cannavale. Cannavale. I know yeah, the I, name. Let me. I lose subs all the time, and my numbers are slow. But you gain some, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know this guy. He's in a lot of HBO. 100? Yeah, he's in, he yeah, was in sure. Boardwalk Empire. And... Yep. Yeah. He's a good actor. Bonnie right? Google with the great big googly he, eyes. He, there was there was a series on Showtime called Vinyl about the music industry yeah, back in the south. That's yeah. the other one that I means, saw. Only one season. I loved it. I thought it was great. They only did. They only. They he also played uh, the stepfather in Ant Man. Uh, Paul Rudd's uh, ex-wife was married to him. Ouch. Smooth jazz. Who are you asking, Mitch? Mitch, when you watch TV, do you ever sit and play your guitar acoustically without being plugged in and just watch? No, the wife no, won't have it. Exactly. You, you, Seriously. You, fin- you finished it. Yeah, because it'll be it would be loud enough. But she can watch her tablet. We could be watching a movie. She'll have her uh-huh. tablet, you know, and her lot playing looking at something on her tablet playing a video. And I'll I'll just put the I'll put the TV up. To the last can go until she well, you just need to give her a different tablet, your neighbors you know, must like love a Valium you. or something. But if I do it, she'll she'll yell at me. Did you all did y'all finish watching that? Um, the gambit, I um, I the Queen's Gambit. Did anybody? Did anybody I don't watch anything. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. Watch, I don't get. I watch YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I watch I'm YouTube. Watching, too. Uh, I'm watching that chapter on YouTube. I've been watch. I watch. I'm probably going to finish that kid's channel, and uh, I watch a lot of <laughs> stuff with physics and uh, ever hear ever see the ever watch a channel called Thoughty Two. Thoughty. It's like thought with a Y, and then the number two we Thoughty Two. No, it's a good channel. It's like a makes you think type of channel i did watch a half of an episode of colombo the very first one. Ooh, the first one was yeah, since the, talking to you lawyer? jack cass jack cassidy no he's yeah. not in the first one well it said it was it was the pilot i think it was a pilot i think it called it a pilot no way had, check it out i'm pretty sure it was, the first uh, one is the one with a husband and wife go out to dinner i think hold on let me see yeah that's Check it jack out. cassidy i'm pretty uh, dave we had this discussion no before. i think there was a lawyer I, I think he no he was a he was a writer the guy was a writer pilot oh there was two pilots mm. that's uh, prescription murder is the first one. Uh, that's the one I was watching. Pretty sure. Gene Barry, a psychiatrist, murders his wife. That no, it wasn't Gene. Gene Barry wasn't in it. Okay. The second one was, was Lee Grant is a lawyer, and she kills her husband. 
neither one have uh what's his face well jack i saw cassidy, jack cassidy he's in the first one that's not a pilot the se- first one of the series well that's what the one i watched then i guess murder by the book that sounds right Stephen yeah. Botchko wrote it yeah yeah, I was gonna say because the pilots, it was good. the pilots are like in the sixties, aren't they? Let me see what year it is. Yeah, sixty-eight, and the second pilot seventy-one. But you know when <coughs> when Columbo came in, I mean he was Peter Falk must have been a really short guy. I'm looking at like the his, the, the female counterpart in the he's like there's so much they're towering over here. Well, yeah, the first so. Columbo was Ransom for a Dead Man. Was that the pilot you were talking about? No, nah, Dave got it. Was the first episode Harold was, Harold Gould. The one with the uh, uh, I love Harold Jack Gould. Cassidy. That, that's why I mentioned it. It's like uh, Harold Gould, Lee Grant. Uh, is, was that Rose's boyfriend on the Golden Girls? March. Harold Gould was, wasn't he? Hmm? Yes. Harold Gould uh, on Golden Girls. Yeah, I, I think he no, was. I didn't he see played. the one on Quicksand today. Whatever comes up in my feed, I don't really go looking through his channel. When I see him in my feed, I just click, and it has never been a really new one, so I haven't seen it. He had a quicksand video, though. We're just talking about how they don't have quicksand in shows these days. Weren't we all talking about that? Yeah, because when we were kids, everyone was Mm -hmm. afraid. And also, little kids today, still, they... What? I watched Peter Fox, Emmy Acceptance. Was that the one MVP that um, William Conrad gave him the award? Cannon, I've seen that one when Cannon calls and gives him the Emmy. I think that one's been in my feed too. At least the Peter Falk receiving the Emmy. I don't know if Cannon was giving it to him, but yeah, maybe because it's all you, you know who I, world you, know, feeds now. you know who I, who I like a lot. He's up there, but he still plays and stuff. Well, Alan Arkin, he, he's still playing in a lot of stuff. I like hmm. him a lot. I know it was you. He's got yeah, he's great in, in uh, he's. Oh, he's, he's great in Eddie, everything. He's, he's great in. He's great in. Um, he's eighty six. Yeah, he's pushing ninety. He's, he's up getting there. close. I, actually, I started watching something with him in it recently. I forgot what. He'll be eighty seven in March. He was great in uh, in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Yep. There was a uh, documentary on. I think it's Show Time. No, HBO about. Um, oh, here I go again. Oh, Robert Emerald. Wagner, Robert Wagner, and um, who was he married to? The one that drowned. Natalie Wood. Yeah, yeah, and um, he killed he's the Michael Walken. He he's ninety years old, and I can't believe how sharp he was. 90, That's well, Mrs. They, age. They might have done it. Heart. Supposedly, he, Christopher Walken's on on the boat too, and they supposedly got into it. Yeah, well, here's a great theory. It's like Walken and uh, Robert Wagner are homosexual lovers, and they off the Natalie Wood. You got no way. Well, I mean, supposedly, like she was drinking, she went to go out on a dinghy. The boat attached, the little boat attached to the uh, big boat. Yeah, and we she know the story. Slipped and fell. So yeah, I mean, at least that's what die. We know that. We know. The well, jokes, if you're drunk, so. if you're drunk. Well, what kind of wood? If you're alone. Float? They what were kind of wood said, doesn't flow, Natalie. Wood. They were all they were, oh, that's awful. <laughs> that was the joke back then. <laughs> um, Fez, not necessarily. I try to play guitar, and you can play guitar now. It sounds good in um, stream yards. Take all the checks out, it sounds fine. Well, I'm I'm looking for a, a backing track to something. I cannot find it on any site. Not that I know them all, but I Googled even. I couldn't find. I could find it. I couldn't find it where you can customize it to take out certain things. Uh-huh. Backing track to what? Thank you. I was waiting to see if someone was interested. I was going to ask Dave. <laughs> well, I, I just Dave. know sometimes you don't like to say it. So I don't I like was... to say it, but I need help with finding a backing Dave, track. I, I guarantee Dave could find it for you. I bet you. No. But it's I have, raining I men. Oh, God. You have, to, you have to go on a tour in sites. I went to a guitar backing track and, and I found it, but they took out. Um, 
Don't go on a torn size. <laughs> I took out lead guitar and rhythm guitar. I need them to take out piano and leave rhythm in. I need to customize it. Anyhow, it's uh, gotcha. Cinderella. Gotcha. Well, what's what kind of program does uh, Rick Beato use to take out the tracks on? You know, when he examines a piece of music, he always gets the tracks isolated. He's what software is he using for that? Doesn't have no the idea. original masters. So. Mm. Uh, what well, song by Cinderella, was... Laurie, are we talking about? Don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, I wanted to do Nobody's Fool, <laughs> but there's no sheet music for Nobody's Fool. It's only guitar, guitar tabs. I looked everywhere for that, too. So I'm going to do Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone. You know, and every I time I heard this some help. Every, every time I heard Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone, I always picture Gonzo singing it to Miss Piggy. He sang that? The, 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 yeah. No, no. It's uh, it, uh, Kiefer's voice in that song sounds like freaking Gonzo. Don't know what you got till it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you should you should sing more in your show. Great. I was listening to it all night. I was like, this is freaking great. It's so eighties. You looking it up, Dave? I looked up. Um, well, I see um, they have nobody's fool. Right, but I don't have the sheet music for that. <laughs> I can't find piano sheet music for that one. See if, if you can. can find- if you can. Also, if you- also known as bringing on the heartbreak you, part two. Exactly. <laughs> If if you can find the whole song with each separate track together, you just I guess well this yeah, karaoke Pat, version. Pat's dog. Yeah, Hanoi Bomb. Pat's dogs. Pat's dogs. You can do the karaoke versions, which are cheesy, but if you find those on YouTube for free, they don't have the singer. I don't I like that karaoke dash version mm-hmm. website because you can customize tracks, but I, and you can take out whatever instrument you want and leave whichever one in that you want. And I just can't find this one. I'm pissed. Oh, right. This one has <laughs> the lead rhythm and keys gone. You just want the keys gone. Well, I want I want to ask someone to do drums and guitar for me. So I want to pull those out as well. But I want rhythm guitar left in there. I just want like a solo. So I want oh. to find something that has everything except piano, lead guitar, and drums. Well, so you just awesome. want rhythm. There you go. There's Dave right there. They were Krell bar. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, if someone wants to do rhythm. Believe Anybody in the room is welcome to collab and do rhythm. I have no rhythm. But we need a singer, I too. I have no rhythm. Hey, Joe Rubio, what's happening? Eric Johnson, what's going on? By the way, Eric, I love Cliffs of Dover. Hi, Joe. <laughs> what is um, Heartbreak Station? That, that's a uh, Cinderella album. I know, it? but sing it. Or, uh, song. Do I know that one? It, wasn't that an album, Heartbreak Station? I don't know. I hated Cinderella. Uh, I only know yeah, the first I, two I, albums. I, I That's why I'm not asking one. you to play on it. <laughs> the first uh, night songs and uh, no Heartbreak uh, Station is a winter. song. Oh, here you go, Songster. That's a. Hmm. Uh, I remember Gypsy Road. Yeah, but who are you talking about? Everything he talks about is miles over your head. Who? I, I, I was wondering who could be referring to. Oh, he's talking about Beato. Oh. I don't know it. Yeah, so I did a search for that track and it showed one on guitar track. And then when you click on it to customize, it brings you to the karaoke site and nobody's fool pops up. I'm like, that's a glitch. Hmm. And anyway, it sounds great on its own, but I just, I want a singer. You can, Don't um, there's a lot of, Laurie, there's a lot of stuff on how to remove like specific instruments in a song. I don't know how I got to. Yeah. Well, what would of, I search? A lot of info. Infra- I, mean- I just, I just, just what I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff that came up. So I'd, I'd have to read everything. Oh, uh, now, if, now, if you had them where they they were all in their certain tracks, that's that's nothing. You can just open up in your editor and take whatever out. But don't have that. Yeah, yeah. The, the the site I use is downloads as one MP3, and then before you download it, you click on which instrument you want to remove. But mm. no big deal. I I might play it anyhow. Oh, is there oh. anything wrong with playing a song that people play over that already has the instrument in it? I mean, I do that sometimes too. I play the you melody. Have to keep it down. Keep the uh, background down a little bit. 
Yeah, unless they play. I mean, because I hear a lot of a lot of guys will do these uh, uh, covers, but you you'll hear they're playing against a song in the background. Songster Cheech, I'll look it up. Hey, Kieran, how are you, sir? Kieran's here, and it's Sam. You just said howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. So, you know Dave Nestall, Crowbar, right? Yes. So I saw he had um, well he had um, uh, Johnny Holland one again a couple weeks ago, but I didn't watch until Mm -hmm. recently. That he is got the most humble guy you would ever. He's in New England. Johnny Holland. Yeah, he is from Maine, from Maine, right? But he is men from Maine. He's what we call my on my family. We would call him a mensch. Maybe he's also too. legally blind. Yep, legally blind. Yeah, can't see. I mean, he's not blind, blind. Not yet. No, he can see something. Yeah. Yeah. He sees fuzzy things in front of him, basically. Well, yeah. When he talks to you, he gets right up in your face because um, mm. he wants to see who he's talking to. He's a close you talker. Met, you met him, Dave? Be oh yeah, a few yeah. times. Nice guy. I, I, I yeah, can't ask I'm to do something else. Player but too, I have someone in mind. Say <laughs> again. Hippies tell me to ask Preston. Um, someone actually requested Cinderella, another guitar player, one of our friends, Hippie, but I won't say anything because I haven't even asked him yet. So uh, I'll save another one for Preston, though. Yeah, Kieran, how's it going? How's everything been? Things settling hey, down over there. Glad you're with us. You were saying you had chest pains the other day. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Who was that? Kieran. Oh, so so did that work itself out. Yeah, he's got some heart problems. Oh, he does. I don't. Well, if he's telling you he has chest pains, then I'm sure it's not a. Secret. Oh yeah, well, it, it could be plenty of things. Could be reflux can cause heart attack symptoms. Anxiety can cause it. This is gray. It's gray. It looks like de- it looks like Sonic Blue. Well, then you need to fix my. Yeah, it didn't look. <laughs> you yeah, need it to didn't fix look gray. My color. Is again. it real? It looks blue on me too. I mean, blue on my. Is it well, really? Well, my gray? jeans, my jeans are blue. See the difference? I mean, your shirt. Yeah, I mean, like a light blue. Well, it looks like a light blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe my monitor's off. The color is off there. Well, it's, well, well you, you have to do something here. Your, your wall yeah. on on your left looks like it's blue too. It looks like it's the same color as your shirt. Oh yeah, Robert the ceiling. Uh, Eric Robert line. Johnson. Um. Do you have your? Well, it used to be Eric Johnson. Now he's Eric Robert Johnson. Um, <laughs> it's uh, you can use a Mustang bridge with a Jazz Master. Um, with a Jazz Master tailpiece. The Mustang is better for um, because I, I hate those Jazz Masters. They have like all the grooves. What, Laurie? You don't have, have your that face green... like you were laughing about something. You don't have your green screen on, do you? I'm reading. I'm reading the live chat. Me? No, no the lady would... next to you. Yeah, you. <laughs> you didn't say lady. Yeah. Well, no, I'll see. You'd see stars. I'd see Uranus. But, but what? Why? Why is it? Blue? Why is your ceiling blue? I don't. Dave, did we take out white balance on my camera or something before? Maybe that would make it blue. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a techie. You tell me, Mitch. Uh, I, I don't mean, want to mess with fall... that. Now. Yeah, well, can't mess with it while you're on here, right? You can. Yeah, you can. Maybe if my lights are off, it looks darker. Let me see. See, I'm going through OBS right now, so it's real easy for me to. That darker? Now, now, no, now I'm shadowed. Mate, well, you still look good. You still look good. I mean, it's fine. Leave right. it the way it is. You yeah, look the good. wrinkles. Oh, a lodge yeah. pain in the ass. I don't like the Jazz Master Bridge, Eric. We we. We went out to dinner with my daughter Thursday for her fiftieth birthday. Wow! Yeah, Got daughter's older than now. Is this your daughter or your wife's daughter? My wife's daughter, my stepdaughter, but right. she was. I've been with her since since she's been nine. She just turned fifty. Right, but I mean, you you, yeah, yeah. you would have been fifteen if you were the father. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> You're right. Right. Yeah. So I can do Look, the math, which is possible. <laughs> You're so good at math, Dave. <laughs> but but uh. Yeah, my, Margaret's four years old and older than me, or four and a half. You're listening to Tech Talk. 
with Mitch and You're Dave. listening to all... Ladies and gentlemen, live from downtown. <laughs> don't That's touch that one. dial. We'll be, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Oh, oh yeah, Dan Wright. That's cool. He plays Malaganya. Yep. Resident so I want to hear Mountain Dew. No, play some Pres- Mock. No, President- Mountain Dew. What, Mitch? President Trump today announced 30,000. No, nothing. I'm trying to do a news piece. I don't know. <laughs> Good one, BT. Who's BT? Um, ben Tom. Ben Tom. <laughs> oh. My father met me. I had to look up real quick, too. Oh, BT. Dan- <laughs> I took me a minute. Oh, you did? Dan- I knew my contacts. Daniel, my father met Maury <laughs> Clark. He used to race this horses. Thoroughbreds. And he met him <laughs> racing horses. At, my father met Roy Clark. He had thoroughbreds and he raced them in Maryland, uh, Pomico. My father met him there. My father worked for the Maryland Racing Commission. Nice. Long time back in the 70s. So there was a channel called RFD TV. Uh, how <sighs> extensive is your chord vocabulary? I would imagine you couldn't stump me with a chord. So it's as big as. I mean, chords, you can make them up as you go. I can call any chord, anything. So I, I don't, it's not really that it's extensive. I could, I don't think you can get a chord by me. So if I play a chord, if I play a chord right now, you'll know what it is. You already did that because you, you were by listening. Yeah. Is that what he means? Is, well, I just mean, he says, how big is my vocabulary? In other words, I know every chord. I mean, Why wouldn't if, you? Because there's nothing, you know, that they, I can't even hear it. tuning. Oh, I'm a half step down. Tuning? What's tuning? <laughs> it's, I'm a half step, da- half oh, okay. step down on here. I love that guitar. So there's a, that guitar? Um, there's a Roy it- Clark thing well, where he's on RFD TV. Yeah. And they're commenting that he has red strings on his guitar. Really? And, the, and they're like, oh, you have red strings. And he's like in his late, you know, his 80s. He's an older guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, these strings were given to me by, uh, what's the name of the string company that does the colored strings with the black logo, a black uh, Z, what, come on. That's yes, Dave Levine Hill now. Oh, you are Dave. Um, come, oh, now. D, D, D <laughs> something. What are those strings called? Oh, uh, DRs. Oh, DR strings, yeah. DR strings. He goes, oh, these are DRs. They gave them to me. They they keep giving me strings. So one of the guys is like, how do you like them? He's like, these are terrible. (laughs) (laughs) He's on national TV ripping on these strings that they give give him for free. free. Because he's just an old guy. He's just like, oh, they're horrible. I hate them. (laughs) But he 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 was a very good guitar player. No, but the Clark. people at DR yeah. had to be yeah. uh, mortified. Well, the point is, is like, first of all, it's, it's if you have a, a chord, like, um, I mean, there's so many things you can call a chord. I can call a chord an A11. You can call it a G over an A. Uh, you could also call the chord a nine sus four. So it's like, you know, you can kind of, there's a lot of leeway with chords of naming them. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things. There's only so many things you can do. Connect four of your checkers. <laughs> while Pretty your sneaky. Tries to do Pretty this. sneaky, sis. While your <laughs> opponent tries to do the same. <laughs> I remember hey. that. Oh, I totally, Vanzini. That. I was watching it, and I'm like, you know, they're like this, sitting there like this. Don't give strings to the guys once they hit 80. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you remember this commercial? I'm the sole survivor. That game, no. Soul Survivor? No. No, it was Soul Survivor. No. Yeah, Soul no. Survivor. It was these marbles, and they had these, like, uh, they fit in the holes, and you move the slots and stuff, and they'd sink down to the holes. Holes and slots sounds like a fun game. No, Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson was fine. Who cares? We just assumed you have the same name. It's not like it's like a, such an odd name. 
Now, if you came in here and your name was Ingve Robert Malmstein. Oh, the game, the game was called Stay Alive. That's right. Who's that, Dave? Oh. Eric Johnson. I'm saying Eric Johnson's not kind of a common name. What were the jokes of Eric Johnson? What were the Eric Johnson jokes? Because I think Robert Johnson, isn't that like an old blues guy? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get more jokes. But, what, but why um, did you make a joke about Eric Johnson? Anyhow. Because Eric Johnson's a guitar player. But why is it jokes? So what? It's got the same name. That's what that's what I just said. I, oh, did you? <laughs> May You'll I have to sell the cattle ranch. How much? Two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> the game of life. Oh, did anybody play Life or Monopoly? Just shoot. Uh, me. I, Monop- I, play I played Monopoly. Monopoly. I played Parcheesi. You just like Parcheesi. Oh. Monopoly, life we're, goes on for weeks. You got to keep the board set up during dinner, and then go back to it, and then you still got to play like three days later on the same game. Backgammon. We, we were, were we would we would play some fierce games. Even at work, we would play uh, backgammon. There's that's, a great that's, murder that's, story about a guy. Game of life. Play. I could never get a good career. And he killed. I, I'd spin. I always get a crappy career at the beginning. Well, give us a give us a clue. It taught you this. how to handle today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the game of life. I was leading up to we play Clue. And I'd always end up with a lot of kids. Oh, Clue. No, no, no good job. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to click on your list. Stay Clue. alive. What's that, Dave? Who goes first in the game of Clue? Whoever chooses the professor. No. <laughs> Miss Scott, I don't remember. Always? Sure. And how do you choose who gets to be Miss Scarlet? Joe so Hansen. Grabs it out of the box first. Whichever way you put the board, somebody's going to be Scarlet. I, I tell you what. No, wasn't you. there a way where you selected who you were going to be, though? It's, yeah, you spin the board depending on where you're sitting and aim it in front of you. Is, right. <laughs> no, I you decide play. who you want to be, and Miss Scarlet goes first. Yeah, the best game was Sock em, Sock 'em, Rock 'em, Robots. That was the best game ever. Oh, Ro- Rock 'em, Sock 'em, Robots. Rock em, so- what, what I call whiz. it, Sock 'em, Rock Rock 'em, Sock 'em. Yes. You hit him in the head, goes whiz. I liked Hungry Hungry Hippos. You remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I never had that. The hippos eat the marbles. Oh yeah. Oh, the marbles we, we go flying have... everywhere. You lose. There you go, Eric. Ganip Ganop. We play candy Candyland. Candy Ganop Land. was my favorite. So we're candy babysitting Land. the, the great granddaughter tomorrow. She'll be able to tomorrow. And uh, Candyland. She likes Candyland. She's four. What so city is Monopoly based in? Oh, Atlantic City, isn't it? Las Vegas. There you go. Oh, Atlantic Atlantic City. Walk, Park Place. Yeah. What's Ganip Ganop? Is that the one that had a little. Three, no, no. Yeah. three ping pong balls, and you, you keep hammering them, and they try to go. You get all three on. Well, each guy has three, and whoever has so, six on the on their side. No, the no, room. each had three, and you had to get like all of yours on their side. It, it's like so. Let's say yours were like a, I can't remember the color, yellow. This is white. Yeah, keep hammering it until you got three of your color on their side. I like Eric Roberts. Pope of I Greenwich know Village. Jonathan. The rest of that album is uh, Tim Pierce, with, and he's phenomenal on that album. Dan Huff just does one reason on that, which is great. That whole album, that's that's a hidden gem. That's Rick Springfield's Ooh, best that's album. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, Candyland yeah. was fun. Uh, I used to love Stratego. There's a great... Stratego. What's the, um, so the, the, the insult dog? <laughs> Triumph the insult dog? Yeah, yeah. Well, but he's play. like... He's out at like some convention and the kids are out and this, like these adults are playing Stratego. And he's like, oh, I see people are enjoying Stratego. And they're like, yeah, we like it. He goes, yes, so do a lot of 12-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that dog. I got to go see him again. Uh, you could always yeah. find a flag. There was always a bunch of bombs around it. And it's like Smoke as soon as you start encountering a lot of bombs, you knew exactly where the flags were. Oh, uh, the vibrating metal, metal football game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blitzing in a circle. Elroy, you think the hippos were sexy? <laughs> it's yeah. creepy. Yeah, it was crazy. You had to yeah, sell that was all crazy. these players. Yeah. Then, then the guy, as soon as the guy stops, you stop the He's board. Like, then you have to line them all up again for the. Yeah, there was a lot of skill. Yeah, there was a lot of skill level in that. Yeah, right. Now, Krellba, do you remember the band called Tribe? Mm-hmm. They were a local Boston band in the nineties. 
What was that song? What's that? What was that song? They had Here at the Home, Rescue Me. Were they on V66? Oh, I'm sure. I've seen them live a few times. I probably saw them three or four times in Boston. But anyways, they disappeared, but the the husband and wife in the band ended up making the uh, game like Guitar Hero, one of those games, and sold it to Activision. Oh, really? Shoots and ladders I love. Yeah, I remember Mitch that. is yeah. testing to see if he gets a good when you're sound at the top one stream you out on Zoom. Candyland. What's not on one? Zoom. You're not on, on Zoom? Go to the hell of class. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 on StreamYards, I didn't test it on Zoom. Oh, my God. D2, why would you eat eggs if you can't taste them? What a nasty texture. Vo- I tell you what, voice meter sounds horrible. On what? Well, for guitar. Oh, it doesn't. I use it all is the it, time. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't picture well, eggs, my end, eating eggs without terrible. taste. It, it must be like eating a fetus. Yeah. Ugh. She's got a ticket to ride. ride. You ever heard of that game, MVP? She's got a ticket to ride. Yeah, Jonathan. Tim is great on that album. Um, honeymoon in Beirut. Uh, what I else think is I could, on there? I think I could sing if I tried. Rock a life. I feel the big yeah, that was good. With a lot of effects. What's that? I think I could let's, sing with a with a lot of effects. Let's let Mitch yeah. sing for a second. Well, I think he sounds I, really good. I don't know. Well, you, well, yeah, Mitch I, is gonna, not by my, it has to be a duet. Mitch is gonna discover this great singing voice voice at sixty five. And he's not <laughs> and he could have he could have had a singing career since he was twenty. No. Yeah, my you wife get the, can get the fluffy voice. It might sound good. Margaret, Margaret can sing really good. Sing from the diaphragm. She she doesn't, but she can. Hello again. Oh, yeah. Hello. I was just gonna look up someone's game. Oh, I, yeah, I was looking up. What are you looking up? I was gonna look up a game and I t- totally forget what I was looking up that someone said. Andy Lynn. I know gets, Andy Lynn. Get stuck in a molasses swamp. Oh, what's the I one had... you said because your link went by? Pearl. What's this? What was the one that you said? Because the link went by. I can't find it now. Oh, oh uh, it was uh, Stay Alive. Stay Alive. Stay Alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. And, <laughs> and it was Stay some kid. Alive. Some kid in some, one of those old uh, hats we used to wear. When now, kids, uh, I'm the sole survivor. Oh, it just sounds so familiar Ooh. to me. That's why I'm looking at it. Dave, what commercial what did they go on? Can I <laughs> See, play? The I, just, I just got a compliment Operation in the chat. Operation Laurie. Oh, oh, that was yeah. a good game. That was a good game. Hello. Thanks, Billy. If you're Jazz Joe Cocker. I couldn't sleep, sleep at all, all last, last night. Lori, I posted the link again. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to search on my phone. My chat's That's really slow. Team. How could it be? I'm on YouTube. Yeah, I just got it now after you said it like 10 seconds ago. What's that? Open link in incognito window. What's incognito? So, so no, uh, it won't be seen. You you won't have no 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 mark no uh, tracings. Like oh, uh, like your husband can't watch see where you've been. Supposedly, never, never heard of that feature. You have apparently, Mitch. Well, it's in yeah. Chrome. It's in Chrome. So. Right, built I'm right kidding. in Chrome. I what I have here is I have I installed I and it's a Windows feature it's called a sandbox, but you have to enable it and you have to go in your BIOS enable it you have to have a supported uh, um, CPU which which I do, so I can look at anything in this sandbox and I won't get infected. I can watch any kind of video if I choose any kind of video. I'm not saying that it would be. You know, but any kind of video I could watch. Any actually, inappropriate I can, video? I didn't say that, but here I can show, actually I can I'll run it up here now and show you. Let me see. <laughs> Dave, if you if you want, I can share a screen and show the stay alive game board. Uh Eric Johnson, I have a V neck strat for sale. That has noiseless pickups, a humbucker in the bridge with stainless steel frets could be yours. It's got the same V as the Clapton neck, 
which I don't care for because it's that one and five eighths. Uh oh, Mitch Heyman's doing something. That's my that's my VM. When does VM? I Look could, at his I could, no. It's a virtual could, machine. Desktop. Yeah, exactly. I can, it's, it's a virtual it's, it's, machine. It's built into Windows, but you have to have a, a supporting CPU that will allow you to do it. Then you got to turn on your BIOS and install stuff. But um, if you want to test stuff or go on certain websites, you might not want to go on. Not that I would ever do anything like that. But like like dark web. No, it means that they if it's a, a testing they can't environment. Go to his computer and they can't find anything because it's a V. It's a VM, VM virtual machine. They can get to it though, right? No, not not through here. If I'm no, doing if you stuff through watch, here, if you ever watch, there's a great channel called Scammer Revolt, and this guy has a virtual machine. And he goes, yeah, and co- I've seen that, and, and he locks them out of their computers. Yeah, you get it, all these uh, guys over in India, the scammers and stuff. Yeah, they, yeah. And, he's, uh, and you hear the guy go, "Oh no, oh no, scam the scammers." What did, what did you do? I've called them. It's called scamming the scammers. You can do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, scammer revolts is the guy who I watch. Carrie, watch Carrie Holzman. He had some up. It's a guy I know, and he don't do it all the time. He did it a while ago. Mitch is but just I, searching uh, naked pictures of what's her name. I didn't say that. I like the one of five. Angela eight, Lansbury I was getting a V. <laughs> oh, look, that's I'm, what I love. Sean Zimmerman, I have two of them for sale. Hi, Sean. The Clapton Electronics? I don't know. I, I knew a guy. That, you know who has that guitar is um, uh, Steve Tedesco. And I think it sounds all right. I've played it a few times. I'm not uh, a huge fan of it. Dwight Bailey's still here, the virtual machine. Dwight Bailey, I, I know why you're quiet. You're fucking playing Minecraft. Minecraft. I thought I was working on a new song. That's what I was going to say. No way. The Ant Eater. Dwight, I thought your other song was called Ant Eater. It was Antimatter. Same thing. I read it I read it real quick. The Ant Eater. He's an Ant Eater. I liked his other one, though. Did you hear his other one? Ghost Town? Got a real See, I movie. love V-necks, but I like a more drastic with a wider nut. There's my house. Ben, Tom, you can do that. Looks like oh. a trailer. It is. It's a mobile. Oh, it's a double wide. You retire. It is double wide. Let's see it. Zoom in. How come we can't see? Hold on. Let me let me make Wait, you the share star. the screen. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm going to make him the star. Why don't you Google Earth him like you did the hue, and let's just. Look at his neighborhood. Okay, here we go. Got a satellite dish. Oh, that's well, that's gone. That was from the previous owner. Oh, uh-huh. he needs a junk car in your front yard. Now this is you'll be surprised. This is a very nice looking mm-hmm. park. It's the I soft mean, V's versus the old V's we'll see. That's nice, Sarah. Yeah. I have a soft V on the two that I'm selling. Oh, snow? That's cozy, man. That's something I would want. If I ever got is that, that cozy power? What 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 is that? What are those things in the front? Is that propane? What are you, what is that? Propane and propane. No, it's it's they're pumped. It's pumped. It, no, it's they're pumped into the house. There's no meat. It's is, it's propane, but it's actually pumped into the house. It's metered. The the oh. park controls it. The uh, yes, every time I, I see those, it was propane. I, I didn't say it was. Well, some places houses. have the some places have the tanks outside. Adam Ant. There's a blast from the past. I mean, how close is that to the road? Do you Mitch? own that, I mean, Mitch, like, or do you pay I, rent? I, I own it, except for I have ground rent. You it's have like what? four ground rent. It's like oh, four right, fifty. Right. Pay- but right. I own the lot. Don't have lot rent. Yeah, didn't you sell your home and when you were yeah, I'll show you, you I'll, that straight out, right? I'll show oh, the old ones. So we have we put in vinyl flooring since since we've been here. Nice. Looks Actually, we got, on the inside. Oh, oh, we got our Christmas tree in the same spot. She just put it up last week. That's so cute. You need a bigger tree. Well, you need a bigger tree. Why, why is that? That's, not, that's not our. Is, that's the previous owner. <laughs> why is that realtor.com? You selling? 
No, this it's is the for owner sale. before him. Yeah, oh, it's still, oh, okay. it'll, it'll say not for sale somewhere. It's yeah, Christmas. Place, the, the flooring is all different. But we want to do some other things. We'll wait until the spring, maybe. That refrigerator is terrible. It's, you can't get anything in it. It's it's full. Oh, my eyes. Oh, full refrigerator. <laughs> He's, uh, right, let's sh I'll show you how. Adam and I don't know Adam. The house I, the house I came you from. You know Adam and. Oh, Adam uh, and. Did I, did I say? A-T-O-M. No, that's the cartoon Adam and. Up and Adam, Adam and was the uh, cartoon. This Adam. is my old house. This is a half acre. It just got too much. Hell's half and, acre. That's nice. Yeah, I, I like that one better. It's, well, it was big. Dark. And had the little the dog kennel right in the back for the dog. Yeah. Yeah, this is a raised ranch. Your typical. It's right. Split for where? Northeast. Mm -hmm. oh, where's your fortress of solitude? You'll see it. Is this your furniture in it? Yep. This is the old house. Wow. Half the half that furniture we gave away. <laughs> oh, uh, that's oh, kind of like outdated. Green. Oh, he redid everything. The guy, the young couple that moved. They, oh, he, yeah. It's well, all. Well, when I said I like, I meant the opposite. Yeah. I know. Well, it was, <laughs> you figured <laughs> twenty years. Yeah, ago, it looks like looks like twenty six years green. ago. Uh, uh, my green is like my yeah. kitchen's blue. The blue oh, counter. My God, dude. Who the hell so he put, came up with this color scheme? Uh, no, I didn't. I Hello, egg yolk, egg yolk yellow. Did you know that? My wife. Come that's that's what, color. That's one of my rooms that I was doing stuff in. What's the next so brief? Full glow stain on the back of the chair. That's it. That's it. The one in the corner is a THR 10X. Right, does it Yama, look like that, Dave? Yamaha THR 10X. <laughs> and that's a computer right there. The one uh, by the window. Get yourself. And then, then there is... There is, I think, my uh, boss katana on the far right corner. I think. Okay. That you know what that is. It's my That's where the magic oh. happens. Oh, this is, yeah, where it doesn't where the happen. Scott um, um, that's down. Yeah, it's before the old guitar mother. room. Look at that PRS. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's one, the one, one you're would, selling. That's one I would like to sell. Which nice room. Now we oh had a flood. Goodness. We had a. We had a flood downstairs, so they the insurance right company right they right fixed there. everything. So <laughs> that's that the part part of the backyard where I have fenced in for the dogs. But it now goes. How close beyond. is this house to like civilization? Oh, it's not like Walmart's like three miles from me. Okay, closer Super there than it was here. Yeah. I like and what, that. And what, where is this? So this is in Pennsylvania. Also? Hanna, that, that was South Hanover, PA. Now we're in North Hanover. Oh, you live in the same town? Yeah, we were just north. It's eleven. It was, I think, eleven miles south of us, or you nine, nine and a half miles. <laughs> <laughs> but my that blue, uh, that that green right there. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, my way. It's my way. And, and that egg, I had, egg yolk yellow too. She, so. I had nothing to do with any of the colors. She picked everything, and I just that's I painted, nice or she painted it, painted it. I mean, that's not a bad room call, but those but, purple curtains. But my, the it's backyard like by Barney. The backyard it goes <laughs> all the way. Those trees behind there, those like pine type trees, about five foot behind there was my yard. Did I you get water in your in your garage in your basement? Not, not one time. Nope, never. Now we had we had like I said, we had a a pipe that burst that we got flooded oh, because the of water? that. But, yeah. but we did have the roof. I had did put a new roof on there because. You see on the ridge on the top, it he didn't have these end caps on there. It's hard to say. And uh, <laughs> I, it was leaking. This is like after, like if we weren't even there a year. I got up in the attic there where you, you know, those, and had like a ball of snow. And it, it was terrible. I, mean, I just got a new roof. The, the builder was awful. The, he was just terrible. All right. All right take your address down. You're making me nervous. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I, I, That's his old address. It don't matter because I'm on public. Five minutes from there. Yeah, that stock, uh, that mint ice cream green was totally like Howard Johnson's green. Did everybody know Howard Johnson's green. I mean, if you, or is he talking about my green? <laughs> Are you talking about Mitch's green or mine? Just type what? in, and I'm all. Um, 
Oh, you're yeah, showing yeah. us that we can it's, find it's, you anyhow? Yeah, it. it's too late to check up. Look, they have my father's obituary. It's from still helping from, everybody. Yeah. From 2009, still still open. Oh, wow. You, you Jacob. went to law school? Hmm? You went no, to law Jacob school? did. No, he didn't go. He didn't go to law school. My my niece's husband did. Hamine, it says. Haman. H-A-M-A-N. Oh, I think from here it looks like an E at the end. He was 94. But oh, anyway, oh, wow. anyway. Let's see. Now, my niece's husband is from Boston. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, Eric, unless he got it for 100 bucks, I don't know what he was thinking. Hojo's. I need a picture of Hojo's to find the color for them. That was like a trade color, wasn't it? Their color was orange. How would orange Johnson? And yeah, wasn't it orange and brown? Oh, you froze. Orange. Was it orange and brown? You froze for a oh, second. Orange and white. I thought it was like a um, aqua blue. No, like a obnoxious blue. Uh, Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson is definitely orange. Really? That, that's the main I color. The roof was orange. Am I thinking of IHOP? Hmm. Maybe I IHOP. Blue? I wouldn't know what IHOP is. The International House of Pancakes. No, I know oh. what IHOP is. You know what? It's orange and blue. It looks like the dolphins' colors. See? Yeah, show or it. Or take me, take me off of a. Uh, oh yeah, Mitch is huge. Center. Oh, hold on. Sorry, Mitch. They'll still see how I really look. Thank you. You could do it yourself on Zoom, by the way. Oh, I didn't know. I just try. Yeah, I just tried it. Pojo's had the best. Now you're the center attraction, which you should be. Oh, me? the compliments keep flying. I know you're so nice to me tonight. No, I was talking like to you. I was talking to Crowbar. No, no, you, oh, yeah, you. I'm, I'm joking, you. I didn't know you cared. <laughs> right, yeah, I used, my son used to ask me, you know, bring bring this upstairs. Can I have this food? Can I have this food? And I always used to say, "What do you think this is, Hojo's?" And he's like, "You might, even know you, you, you got to be the cool. You got to be the cool coolest mother to Cameron." I am. Tell him that. Because you, you, you look, you're like on the same page. I, both, I mean, Cameron and you, I would think anyway. Yeah, we, we're we close that way. We also, I mean, at 16, we also argue. Well, you're, you're going to do that. Yeah. Oh, I just hold Joe's. Dan, you're right. I'm, I, he, I, mean, I run him. Blue there, but that's, a, yeah. Dan, you're right. Says I run him of Mel Brooks. <laughs> totally do. Yeah, yeah I, mean, had, I mean, my screen doesn't show that blue as obnoxious as it is in person. I used to I mean, get we had the, we had the um, Howard Johnsons at the belt the Baltimore Beltway and Rice's Town Road, and they had this uh, a Hilton and they had a nightclub in there. So I would go in there, you know, whatever, and then take somebody out to dinner across the street or get something to eat. They had really good ice cream. Howard, Howard Johnson. Would go and pick no, up. No, this is before I was married. I tried. I would try to go pick up women when I was young. Oh, or something. Did anyone ever had bad ice cream? I mean, yeah, yeah. No you're stuff. right. You're I, right. I, I, I get the Cumberland yeah. Farms home brand or the IGA home brand. So we have we have Turkey Hill out here. Still good. It's made. Oh, in we, have yeah, Turkey we have Turkey Hill here. here. Yeah, but I think they're made. It goes here. on sale all the time. But we have a um, Brewster's ice cream. I don't. It's a franchise. But... Turkey Hill, I just always gobble it up. Mm. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> they have gravy flavored ice cream. Now, this oh. Brewster's is really good. You all check that out. And it's it's pricey. But they got some it's really good ice cream. Our big place in They Rhode make Island. it right, they make it right there. Uh, that's right. In Cumberland. Brewster's millions. Well, you had, uh, you, I mean, uh, Ben and Jerry's, where is that? Vermont? Was that made in Vermont? Yeah. I'm getting that hungry. A, I want cookies inside of ice cream right now. That was a big customer of ours. So. I like chocolate chip cookie dough. Nice ben and cream. Jerry's. It's yeah. My favorite's pistachio, though. Uh, pistachio's good, but chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, the way you... Uh, ben and Jerry's pistachio is awesome. It's the best pistachio. You know, I haven't bought pistachio in a while, but on a, the Reese's peanut butter kick, but... I should do some pistachio. Pistachio ice cream. I think fish food is the best ice cream. That yeah, has all know. the crap in there, and chocolate and nuts. And That's so no dark nuts. chocolate, though. No they had nuts. a nightclub. They had a nightclub in our hill. That's right. 
No, it's chocolate, fish, caramel, um, marshmallow, oh, chocolate. chocolate ice cream. Daniel, you know, I'm in North Hanover, PA, about 15 miles east of uh, Gettysburg, PA. Okay, give a latitude and longitude to Mitch. I don't know what that is. You want to? It's on there. You can look it up yourself. You want it yourself. We want to pinpoint exactly where it is. They used to give away uh, robe and slippers. Some hotels still do. When I give well, away. Elroy, you have ice cream in LA. You have, um, I'm trying to think what it's called, dryers with a D. And up here we and have dryers with a B. No, no. Over here we have Edie's. Yeah, we have Edie's, we have Briars. Edie's and Dryers have... are the same company on the That's West Coast. Not... On the West they Coast, were... they're called Dryers, and on the East Coast, they're called Edie's. Edie's was a customer of ours, too, at one time, the company I worked for. And we have Friendly's, too. Oh, Dan is in the Pittsburgh area. I would love Pittsburgh. to try some real Italian gelato. I yeah, there used it. to be a gelato place right on the Third Street Promenade on... Uh, God, what street was that? Was that Santa Monica or Arizona? I think it was Santa Monica Boulevard. Right at CVS, Santa Monica and Third. CVS sells gelato. They they have yeah, a well, he had it right and they away. have uh, caramel chocolate too. Mm, I'm getting hungry. Rita's really, Italian. Hyped you up, Elroy? Yeah, it's Rita's Italian ice. Oh, I'm not Italian. too crazy about that. Rita's Who's Italian Italia. ice? Rita's Italian ice. Rita's? Yeah, that's his franchise. We don't yeah, we get have, Rita's here. We get uh, Luigi's. Luigi's and then the one that begins with an M. Oh, uh. Dave, I asked you about Italian ice before. You're like, there's only two. Yeah, we have two here. Luigi's I mean, Luigi's, I see. Get them at the grocery yeah, store. Now, now, you, now you got, I know Luigi's and. Uh, the other one's with an M. Yeah, Hanoi Bob, where I'm at, there's not really, not really good room. It's not like oh, Maria's. You have to go in a city. Maria's. Maria's? City. I think Marinos. every town has Marinos. Marinos. Oh, oh okay. yeah, Marinos is one. You're right. I was gonna yeah. say that too. It's like we made packaging for all those companies you you mentioned. The company I, don't like I work for. I'm sure you can get a good one at anywhere, right? I mean, Cockeysville, Maryland. I know it well. So that's about. 30 miles from here, maybe? We have Dell's Ice Lemonade in Rhode Island. You, yeah. you take that, they used, hot day, they take that, L- and put vodka in it. They had them in they L.A. Dell's? They had a Dell's in Venice Beach. Oh, wow. They took, yeah, they, they went under. They don't yeah, they know. Had a Del- they had a Dell's. Ah, it's okay. They had one right I like on it. Uh, Venice Boulevard. Yeah, they, they, they got a they got a Dell's right next to where I play in Newport, and I got one a couple of times. What's that place I play in Newport? Oh, uh, the Oyster. Midtown Oyster. Midtown Oyster. Midtown Oyster. Oyster right next to it is Dell's. Really? Well, it's like oh, yeah. I say, you got to mix it with alcohol. And again, a coconut rum, Malibu goes great with Dell's. Oh, well, we used to go to the North End for like the Italian feasts, and they have the Richie's slush. And you'd go up to the guy and, and they'd be like, you want a special? We'd be like 10 years old. They're like, what's a special? Like, we'll put a little vodka in it. Hey, he sounds like a creepy I'm only uncle. 10. But you yeah, want a special a... little girl? Yeah, yeah. He's a got a Hey, little girl with some candy and vodka. Was that a Gennaro's, St. Gennaro's feast or something? No, we used yeah. to go to St. Anthony's. Saint... Fisherman's feast. They had one every weekend, though, in the summer, in August. But... Fisherman's Feast was the best. The confetti, they throw off the confetti off the roof and it like so much confetti that goes up to your knees. Oh, Maria. Larry George, welcome. Hi, Larry. And your other brother. Oh, Mitch, you're going to pound your keyboard into oblivion. You can tell he's serious because he's nose breathing too while he does it. Yeah, I, I no, you're right. I, I noticed that on a play, but let me lower. You're right. I have it lowered. All right, I'm lowering my uh, my. Or, There's a you guy. You know I when watch Mitch on. is in an intense conversation on uh, Messenger is when he's nose breathing. A messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good for you? He's writing back, Luke. I am your father. Yeah. 
He's probably talking about gear. He's getting all excited or equipment. <laughs> or somebody's uh, calling or Angela the ERS. Yeah, yeah. I just I sent something to Quran. There's a place in Cockeysville that supposedly had good crabs. I can't think of the name, but they were not. They were not. I'm not touching that name. Hmm. Well, is it right next to Bukakiville? Actually, it's just south of Towson and Timonium. Wait, was it in Cockeysville or Penisburg? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> so I'm sure. <laughs> it's, it's like I said, Bukakiville. Don't get cocky. The it's gangs getting... are taking over the Monroeville Mall. Now, Monroeville's just what outside of, of uh, Pittsburgh, right? Yep. That's what Dawn of the Dead was filmed, the original. Yeah, I don't know where that is, Daniel. Um, I'm like I'm in Central South PA. I'm from Maryland, but it, anything north of here, outside of Hershey, I don't, I'm not too familiar, familiar with, or uh, Allentown. Great fans, Eden. Where do you get your crab? You don't see local crabs, but you mm, they from ten dollar hookers. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's great Vanzini we're talking about. Well, it depends on this, the time of the year, Karan. You're right, but not... Okay, we're talking about great Vanzini. Okay, $5 hookers. <laughs> it's quick, though. Love you, great. Oh, I know you. T- who was the female... T- I know what Hannah and Bob... I can't remember the show. It was uh, Cagney and Lacey. Was that it? Yeah, Cagney and Lacey is correct. And I didn't watch it. I used to pretend I was Cagney and Lacey with my girlfriend run around with fake guns i'm not big yeah. on the crab meat I like uh like the maryland crab I, I like king crab alaska king crab yeah they're good they're they're real good too um the pacific ocean that's a good answer when i was young i used to act really masculine i was trying to do i was trying to imitate tyne daily <laughs> <laughs> you know who she was married to wasn't she on cagney and lacy yeah. no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah she was she, do you know who one. she was married to, Dave? Who? Um, Cagney? Lacey? No, the guy who played on the Mod Squad, the black guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, Clarence Langley. Williams the third. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, but somebody look it up. I might be wrong. I'll admit it. Right. Wow. I think she... Tyne's got jungle fever. No, they got children and everything. Yeah, we have a lot of the same thing, uh, Curon, where I'm she at. She was married to George Stanford Brown. Oh. Not even close. No, he is. He's 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 from the mod squad. No, he's from the rookies. Oh, the rookies. Well, I was kind of half. Uh, Yeah, I got him mixed up, but I knew he's from some show. They divorced in ninety. He was Cuban, actually. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm getting. Maybe I'm getting. Peggy Lipton was married to a black guy. I think. See if I'm right about. Remember, Peggy Lipton was on. Was on a mod squad. squad. I think she was married to a black guy. She just died it recently, like a couple, a year or two ago. No, they had the worst New York accents, Cagney and Lacey. They were really New Yorkers. You know, it, she's Tim Daly's sister. Doesn't look a thing like right. Tim Daly. And, and her but father she, played. She looks more like Bruce McGill, D Day from. Uh, the D-Day father from, played uh, on a show called Med- Medical Center. I forgot his first name. Uh, their, fa- their father. Wait, who, who are you calling? Are you saying Tim Daly now? Yeah, t- Tim Daly's Ty Daly. No, Ty Daly. Ty Daly's Tim. brother is Tim Daly. Oh, Tim right, Daly. Right, right. And, oh, and their father. Like her. And their father was a big actor, and he played on Medical Center. If you remember that CBS show back in the probably late sixties, early seventies. I forget his name. Dan Dan Daly. I think it was it. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, he used to be on Match Game. Oh, oh, that's the guy from uh he's and... the dentist, isn't he on uh on Newhart? Hmm. I don't know. What Elroy, what are you laughing about? Everybody's talking so fast about these uh shows. No, it doesn't show on the... Uh... Married to Quincy Jones. Hold on. 
Bob Newhart. What was that? No, he, was, he wasn't on Newhart. He wasn't James Daly. Oh, James Daly. No, Bill Daly is who I'm thinking. Bill of. Daly. Yeah, Bill Daly was on uh, Dream of Genie, wasn't he? Right. Yeah. And Bob Newhart show. And Alf. Willie, you killed Alf. me. <laughs> Stick around before you go for that next snack. It was just, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. What do you used to say before every commercial? Bill Daly, yes, who played oh, Mitch, Mitch, authentically yeah. Mitch was right in there. Ah. Yeah. You're not the only oh. Mitch in the room, Mitch. He's muted. His favorite TV game was James, oh. da James Daly was the father. James Daly. Hmm. Yeah, welcome to three minutes ago, Mitch. <laughs> oh, you did say it already? Yeah. I, I was muted. But they you're right, they don't... Yeah, I remember Peter Boners, too. Not on which one, was on, to... which one was on Mitch Game? I do. <laughs> Mitch Game, 76. Get ready to Mitch the stars. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Mitch... So bad. Hey, man, that's my name. Charles Nelson Heyman. Let's play the name game. Mitch Summers. Let's try Mitch. Mitch, Mitch. There you go. <laughs> Mitch <or> Dawson. <laughs> Mitch or Dawson. <laughs> That's Ty Who's Daly's he? He father. Familiar. Yep, I'm going to write. And Tim Daly, yep. What was what he was playing? He played oh, he on he Metal. Twilight. He was in Twilight Zone. A lot of different things. Medical, medical Center is what I remember him from. What, he was in what's the them. Dirty Harry movie she was in? Was that Magnum Force? Or was no, that, that was... Um, that was oh god, oh, sudden god, impact. Then. No, sudden impact was Sandra Locke was in that one. Uh, it wasn't he, as that was Clint Eastwood's oh, uh, Magnum Force, I think. Yeah, I think that was, think I was his girlfriend at one time. Uh, did you say that? I think that it was, was the Mag one I said, Magnum Force. Yeah. Hanoi Baum has a question that Dave probably you could answer because I don't know. What was the deal about Alf? Was the writer a junkie or something? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. Magnum yes. Force was the one with Hal Holbrook. But, uh, it's, Hanoi uh, Bomb, yes. There's a great movie about the writer from ALF um, called Permanent Midnight with Ben Stiller <laughs> playing him. Really? <laughs> it's great. It's a great format. movie. The Enforcer. Oh, yeah, The Enforcer. Yeah. Cheech said it. Yes. Yeah, I remember could see the chat. He said it 10 minutes before I did. Yeah, I'm getting my chat seems slower than yours for some reason. Uh, <laughs> he's pulling Alfred out Columbo. Mitch. That's the Dick Van Dyke episode. Alfred Mitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Alfred Mitchcock presents. Les is great <laughs> for Columbo <laughs> jokes and Actually, I could, Pauline jokes. I, as big course. as I am now, I could probably do it, Alfred Hitchcock. Good Stand evening. up. Let's see how big you are. <laughs> you don't look that big on camera. I mean, ow, ow. I mean up. I'm having, so, oh. I'm having terrible problems with my knees. My knees are. Does anyone know that Bent and Ben Tom is after my real relative, Bent Rossum? I don't know who Bent Rossum is. It's on his mom's side. Oh, I see. He has the same birthday as you. I sat behind Clarence Gilliard at a Excellent hockey game trivia. once. I had to get out of the way so Brooks Robson would get, get into, into the uh, locker room or the whatever the ball player. Yeah, who Alfred. knows who Brooks Robson is besides Krell oh, Alfred, Alfred, Alfred Glitch. Alfred Glitchcock. Glitchcock. <laughs> oh, sad. Life's a Mitch. <laughs> Yeah, pick on pick on Mitch, you son of a Mitch. I get that all the time. Son we of a Mitch. We can't pick on you because authentically MG's in the house too, and then he'd think we're picking on him. Well, I went to school with a guy named Paul Bish, B I S C H, and that first thing, oh, uh, son yeah. of a Bish. And he goes, yeah, no, I you, never heard that one before. But yeah, you know, yeah. Mitch is Mitch is not a real real common name. You don't know, Mitchell. Eh, I'm the first that was name. A Joe I mean, Don Baker movie. 
Terrible movie. A terrible movie. See? See what I mean? Mark Balsam. Krova, you I don't even think I knew your first movie? name. And I had lunch huh? with you. Oh, I, huh? I, my name? First name, yeah. Yeah, Jim. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I heard that recently, too. But I, it's, some, it's not a bad idea. I wish, it, I wish it was more interesting. My, well, my name is say. Ignatius Ignatius Castro. Yeah, that would be interesting. I just made that up off the top. Of my... <laughs> <laughs> you're a Mitch girl, and you're going too far because you know you don't matter anyway. <laughs> you're a Mitch, Mitch girl. <laughs> Hand, All right, well, I gotta go hand, square. Stand reaching still. out, touching still me, still stand still. touching Dave? you. You're frozen. My, oh, oh. oh, you're not frozen. I'm not you're frozen. Your eyes open. My, my friend, I had a friend, John Bye. Moon, and oh. his uncle's name, no word of lie, was Charles Andrew Moon. So it was Chuck A. Moon. Nice. Yeah. Like Charles uh, Nelson, like no, Charles Nelson Raleigh. Chuck a moon. Chuck a moon. Do you all remember Paul Lynn? <laughs> Paul Lynn. <laughs> teeth on who, you. who can forget? You know who? I oh, I, I, I love Bewitched. Elizabeth Montgomery. Oh my God. Yeah, Mary she, Boys. She was, she was a she's hot. She was she's definitely Elizabeth her son. Was, her son makes guitars. You should buy one of her son's guitars. Oh really? Yeah. Get in touch or, with her. Her son is Bill Asher. Or I dream a genie. Her oh, son she... is not Bill Asher. No, no, I mean she's another one. I, I, I like I liked. I dream a and genie the... or bewitch. Yeah. Uh Barbie Barbara oh. Eden. Oh geez, that's a tough one. I love Barbara Eden too. Oh so my gosh. Barbara Eden stayed pretty for a long time. And they go way back. Go way back. I'm putting, it, I'm putting it in the chat right now, guys. In the chat, this is Elizabeth Montgomery's son's company. Yeah, I think you did talk about him before. Um, Janet I Lee. Think... I love Janet Lee. She was a, she was yeah, a yeah. yeah, until she got stabbed in the shower. <laughs> I think my mother took me to see that movie. Hi, pretty... Gina. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was too young, dude. Didn't affect me. Yeah, Bob Reed. Uh, Got a lot of Mitch jokes coming in. Or Mitch Robert Mitchum. <laughs> He's another great actor. See? Yeah, especially with his pants up to his uh, up to his chest. Well, all clothes was mm. weird. Everybody, oh, you know, clothes we was a, weird back then. Vote for Elizabeth. K-line Mom. guitars now. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I'm not even going to choose between the two. It's a but you know where Elizabeth Montgomery looked really good in was the Twilight Zone episode where she played the Russian girl and uh, her makeup was all smeared and stuff. It was a good look for her. Oh. I, can't rem I remember Agnes Moorhead, who played her mother. She was in yeah, that. I think she was, it was in the Twilight the, Zone with the little. With little, the astronauts. Yeah. On the and actually, they were the Ameri they were the humans or the Americans. Yep. Now, Paul but, Lynn's character on Bewitched was Mitch. Her uncle, right? Her uncle, uncle what? Right? I can't remember any. Um, Uncle Arthur. Arthur. But he was on the show before that as a different character. Can you tell me who that was? Um, um, uh, the Brady Bunch. Not the Brady Bunch. No, no, Bunch. a character uh, no, no, on don't, the don't show. A character on the show, Be Bewitched. He played another Yeah, character. he was on Bewitched as a different character. What oh. character was it? Oh. Mm. But wasn't he on... Um... D2, Betty. David Cassidy show. Oh, yeah, the, the departure family. Was he on there? No. Too? At, at any time? Yeah, you're not no, getting the question, on, Mitch. I don't know. He was know. on, he was on Troop as the singing Mountie, but no. He was her driving instructor. Okay. When she went to go get her license. And they loved him so much on the show, they brought him back as her uncle. Uh, and you know, Sammy. Elizabeth, Elizabeth <laughs> Montgomery looked good Sammy. as a brunette. You remember when she was a brunette? Yeah, she played yeah, yeah. her sister. Yeah, he used yeah, to call yeah. her Sammy. Sammy. Yes. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> what was her sister's name? Yeah, that I, I I'm stumped on that. Um, hold on, I that will come to me. It was come on, uh, Dave. Come Uncle on, Dave. Arthur. No, it was uh, Samantha and who played Gladys Kravitz? I can't remember the name, but she she's in a lot of yeah. things. 
Oh, geez. The Chrissy or Janet debate. Everybody's all over the place there. Yeah. Oh, geez. Uh, they, they're Bobby. saying that on purpose. I know. Serena. Serena. Hanno Boy. Hanno Boy. Hanno oh, Hanno Serena. Boy. And yeah. Elizabeth Montgomery looked good as a brunette, too. Uh, she, she, it doesn't matter. She looks, yeah, she was good. Can she you wiggle your nose look, without touching Let me tell you, she did not look well on Password. She was. Yeah, she didn't age very she well. Was she was getting sick, sick and, and yeah. she wasn't well. Yeah. Wow, she was, and they didn't I have mean, makeup um, back then. <laughs> well, she she passed she passed away from cancer in like the early nineties. I think she had colon yeah. cancer. So yeah, that's colon what, cancer. That's what killed mom. So, uh, she was on password in the seventies, so so was she ill from late seventies, early eighties? I think it was yeah. super password or whatever. She was I, ill from something else, I think. Then. I forgot. Um, I dream a genie had a, a sister with dark hair too. Now was she like the evil one? I can't remember. Well, they have like an evil sister with why is dark hair Wait, evil? And how come nobody it? nobody could come up with who played um Gladys Kravitz? I can't Dr. remember the name. I can't oh, remember Dr. The name. Bombay authentically, Mitch. Don't tell me his name. I will tell you his name. Oh uh, Bernard I Fox. I don't know. Yeah. And Sin everybody, you should be kissing my motherfucking feet for that one. Who else what? is pulling <laughs> out that name? Yeah, and I he agree played, with he played, I agree he played with Headstock. Watson. I agree with Headstock, Cindy over Chrissy and Janet. So oh my god, I mean, Cindy was like a, Oh, like, Jenny Lee Harrison? Yeah, she, Dick she Sargent awesome or Dick then. York. Dick York. He was the original. Yeah. That's I didn't I didn't think it was good when Terry or Cindy came on. Did he Terry did Dick Sargent did Dick Terry Sargent die awesome. of did he die of AIDS? Dick no, no, no. That's that's what they say it was. No, he, he emphysema. But he was he was a homosexual, I believe. Um, he died from what? emphysema. His lungs were filled with semen. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Oh. Em, em, <laughs> emph emphysema. Oh, forget it, you guys. Now the guy, the, the father on humor. the father on the Brady. <laughs> I can nail it. He died from emphysema. <laughs> His lungs were filled with semen. You guys, come on. I don't know where the awful. hell everybody is on that. I laughed and I added to it. I said emphysema. Oh, no, I, I got your stem off. Yeah. <laughs> stem yeah. Off. Oh, here's a good Thank question. You. Read that. Read that question. Less is less. Any code junction. Which of your five sentences tends to diminish you know, my sense of decency? That's great. Well, what season? I mean, like there, there were different ones in the latest seasons, but there, there was. Oh, uh, Petticoat there Junction. Was, but yeah, they, so, so no one can tell me it was Alice something, wasn't it? Who played Gladys Kravitz? All right, all right. Did you, did you look it up already, Dave? No, I haven't known. I, I don't know. I'm not going to get it. I thought it. her name was Alice. Oh, don't even tell me. Hold on, I might pull it out. I'm not going to tell you. Tell me if I'm right. If it's Alice. Your turn. No, it's not. It, was there an Alice that played her first? Yeah. Uh. Yes. There's two there's two Gladys Kravitz. Yeah, there was an Alice. Oh I, you know, we're already giving you a hint already. <laughs> no, I don't know it. Who is it? Alice Pierce. Okay, and who was the who was the, the famous Gladys Kravitz? San, Sandra Gould. Oh, Fanzini's been saying it for 20 minutes. Uh, Sandra Gould, who is she? I don't recognize. She's really Gladys goofy. Kravitz, my favorite character on B I gotta see what. That's right. Yeah, two different. Okay, I recognize her now. I recognize the uh, Alice. She would always one. make this face. She would be looking through the windows. Yeah, nosing around. <clears throat> Laurie has a neighbor, Gladys Kravitz. She's muted. Oh. Laurie, I was you're watching. Muted. Um... I was watching Stay Alive with Vincent Price. What, what were you saying? I said, you have a neighbor, Gladys Kravitz. I do? Yeah. Actually, you don't know like the one... character Gladys Kravitz? She was always in everybody's business. Oh. Peeking through the windows. Yeah. Oh, I you have one of those, Lori? Oh, yeah. Who plays Abner Kravitz? We that think our, we think our Alexa is uh, oh, I, I know is tapped. <laughs> he was <laughs> another the, big star. And that goes on. Who's the egg man? Waiting to the bias. That's what it was. I didn't know that. 
who okay, played I Lenny Kravitz? Now that I watched it, he was in a lot of stuff. George mm-hmm. Tobias, Arnold Ziffel, <laughs> Larry uh, Tate, Billy Breeze says Arnold the pig, Arnold Ziffel. I don't know. <laughs> Larry Tate, whoever played him was on uh, What's Happening. Who played, played Larry? Uh, Burger executive. One with Dick Van Patten. Who played Aunt Clara? What I show? The Bewitch. Yeah, she was the one getting the spells wrong all the time. She was absent minded. Yeah. She was uh, Roxy Marianne Rocker, D Tube. Roxy Rocker. That's Roxy Roker, yeah. Rocker Roker. Mrs. Willis. Wife. Right. That's an easy one. Helen Willis. Huh? What do you mean? Lenny Kravitz. What do you mean, Willis? Helen Willis on the Jeffersons. Was Tom? Lenny Kravitz's wife? Lenny Kravitz's mom. Mom, right. I said, who's his yeah. wife? Who was his wife? Oh, Lisa uh, Bonet. Yeah. Are they still married? No, they've been divorced for ages. They were totally in love. What happened? Oh, they haven't been didn't in love for to, 20 years. Didn't you used to give her money, Mitch? Lisa Benet Brith? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing sk- what? <laughs> play my Play my Halloween song. Um, I was working in a lab. No, the uh, J- the Jason. What, what did I do? The, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom. Why can't I think of how it goes? Here's a great question, Mr. Bentley. Friday the thirteenth one. Yeah, on the Jeff Paul Ben Paul Bendick. Where was he from? He was from no Missouri, I think. No, it's oh god. A Mr. No, v- Vincent Vincent Price was from Missouri. I I know he's from the U.S. Yeah, okay, you do know he's from the U.S. I think yeah. he's from Massachusetts. I think he's a Boston guy, Massachusetts. Mitch. Paul Bendick. Get in my eyes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go rip a square. I'll be back in your chat after. I'll, I'll go he go died. He go. died in Martha's Vineyard, Mass. But he was born off. born in New Mexico. Is that is that oh, her way was? of saying she? Is that her way of saying she's got? A- what? Sorry. I, I was gonna say, you'd be like, mass. "Oh, Laurie snuck out," but I, it, you can't hear me when I say "bye" because everybody talks. What, what, what you said was, "Is that why he's, he's got to drop a loaf?" <laughs> no, no. Yeah, he, Al, he, he, Al Junior. He graduated from yeah, Suffolk. He graduated from Suffolk in Boston. So yeah, yeah he was, okay. He was in. Uh... You smoke, Thanks. Laurie? You smoke? How do you think I no, know? No, she's going to go rip a square, but she doesn't smoke. Oh, I didn't. That he thought it meant something off. else. I, I Tabitha should... was played by um I know. Who was Tabitha? Was it a twin? Was it two girls? Was it twins? Well, well in the in the spin-off or on the show? On the As show. A, when she was older. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had like squinty eyes. Uh Tabitha Stevens. Yeah. Pitch uh, off. Take a dump. Leave a dump. Don't leave one. Yeah, why do they call it take a dump? Oh, it was, not, it was Lisa Hartman. It. Lisa, Lisa Hartman. Hartman played uh, Tabitha. Wow. Yeah. I remember her. Who played the little years. girl Tabitha? Oh, I have no idea. I don't want to add it up. It wasn't little Nissa Jones. No. I said it wasn't. Here, I got it up here. Tabitha. Um, don't have it on there. Who played Aaron, Tabitha? Erin Margaret Murphy. And she was the one with squinty eyes. She. What was she in? Wait a sec. What was their last name on the show? Stevens. Are you kidding me? So the porn star Tabitha Stevens took her name from the show? Yep. Just like Samantha Fox did. <clears throat> Samantha Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Oh, be careful when you type and tap. I'm getting all weird stuff up. Let me put bewitched. Oh, shoot. It says I'm infected now. Uh, yes, Vanzinia Square is like an old, I think it's like a 70s term for a cigarette in Massachusetts. And a buddy of mine used to say it all the time. I'm going to rip a square. So now it, uh, Laurie always says it. I think she knew the expression. Take the Browns to the Super Bowl. Yep. Now, which one looks like Jim Carrey? Is it Dick Sargent? No, it's Dick York. Dick York, yeah. Dick York was the one that was on the Twilight Zone episode with the quarters on its side. Yes. He looks a lot like uh, Jim Carrey. You know who looked like Jim Carrey? Uh, uh, yeah, George as Jones. Young, as a young kid, right? Uh, the George Glass episode of uh, Brady Bunch, right? At the end where Jan meets this uh, kid at the party. I saw the kid and I go, that looks like Jim Carrey. And I had to look it up, see if it was. Next time you see a George Glass episode, look at the end. Kid looks just like Jim. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Hold on a second. You guys know who George Jones is? Yep. No. Country singer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He looks just like Jim Carrey. Um, All righty then. Well. What do you mean, well? I'm, I don't see. A little bit. I mean, not. Let me pull another picture off for you. All right. How about now, Mitch? Hold on. Here we go. Yeah. It, that's good. That picture's right there. It's good. Right there, it's right? Just like him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm all right. Oop, I gotta move my chat window. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. More there. <laughs> yeah, I could see. Especially that. in the eyes. Look at the eyes. He looks just like him. I'm, I I I was a Jim Carrey fan, but not of he hasn't done anything lately that I cared for. He had that show in Showtime. I couldn't get into it. He was like, a, I think did like a kid's show. And Okay, here's a young picture of George Jones. And let's see what Mitch is going to say now. Ready, Mitch? Go ahead. Oh, oh geez. Geez. Yeah. Me, me, myself, and Irene. You got it. You got it. You got to get a picture of uh, here. I'll take a snapshot. Let me take it. Let me take a snapshot. Is that unbelievable? It. Keep it up there for a minute. Yeah, he has the same. I'm gonna. Of- I'm gonna find one of. Uh, okay, I got it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find one of uh, Jim Carrey and George Jones. It's nuts, right? Yeah. Looks just like him. He does. There's another picture. I gotta. I'm trying to find it, where you look at it and you're like, "Oh my God, they could be twins." Okay, let me see if you just type in George Jones, Jim Carrey. Oh, you probably will. Oh, there's a yep. million of them. <laughs> yeah. See, it's not just me. Look, oh, that's nah, funny. Yeah, yeah, it's old news. Everybody else has been doing it. Okay. What about, I got another one for you. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, who is this? Um, yes. Okay. Leslie Snipes. No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. No, uh, what was the one uh, with uh, the three ones? Uh, oh, Wong Fu. 
with John Leguizamo, Snipes, and Patrick Swayze dressed as drag queens. Okay, I like here comes vampire movies. Separated at birth. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know uh, the way the fan was that? Oh, it was good. <laughs> there are you, you do uh, there is actors that you'll see a, a good few of them that look alike. <laughs> but I don't know about that. Um, here we're gonna see a picture of my father. Let me see, see if I can find him. Um, where did I do? Oh, G Drive. Let's see. Where is Daddy? Let me see. You see that? Yeah. That was probably in the, that was from the 80s, probably. My mother and father. Oh, um, wow. I think it was my niece's wedding. I think that, that picture was taken from, and she's been married for, I don't know, uh, almost as long as me, 35 years ago. I don't know when she got married. Like 80, in the early 80s. I never seen that channel before. Uh, I got some pictures when he was in a service. Oh, here's here's ones. Here's something for sale. Uh, get that back up here. Now it's not showing up. Not that properties. I gotta. That's the one I want to sell. Let me. Oh, let me. Okay. Oh, come on! Stop Hold it. on. Let me let me blow it up so everyone can see. That's it. Actually, I just had it set up recently and I haven't used it much. But it plays really good. It just, the, I don't know, the pickups are muddy or I don't know. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to switch it out. And that's before, that was made in the Korean factory. But I think now, since then, they're doing everything in um, Indonesia now, I believe. Let me remove this. Part. I want to yeah. share a screen really quick, too. I found the George Glass kid. Go ahead. Okay, hang on. It's open. Okay. Yeah. It, it, in real time, he looks a lot more like that. But it, it's like when I saw, saw the kid in the episode, it's like, was that Jim Carrey? Oh. Oh, come on. Compared to my George Jones, those guys are, are twins. Well, I'm talking about when he was a kid. But that's a still picture if you saw the actual. Hmm. What was that kid's name? Uh, I'd have to look it up. You pulled his picture up without even having his name? I, I just put the Not So Ugly Duckling episode and his picture popped up. Hmm. And, and I don't think he was given a name in the thing. That's why George Glass was used. Hang on, let me look here. <laughs> what, Laurie? Yeah, I thought it was you. I didn't know who it was for a minute either. Oh, the picture? The one Krell just put up. 
Let's see. No. Yeah, yeah it, not, it's not worth playing around. Mark, with. Mark Gruner. He was in. He was in Jaws two. He played Mike in Jaws two. Laurie, you missed our um, separated at birth section. <laughs> yeah, good. Name. She would appreciate it. Don't give up on us, baby. Ron Glass. Remember Ron You're Glass? You're still the, the one. Yeah. The black odd Barney couple. Miller. Him and, uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. Barney, it was, was he on Barney Miller? Was he? He was, was yeah, that? but he was, he was Harris. Yeah. I didn't watch much of Barney Miller either. That was George Glass, Laurie. Uh, yes, we did uh, George Jones and Jim Carrey. Actually, the name did. was Clark Tyson. Mike George Glass was the made-up name that Jim. Right. Was, but. And we did um, Dion Warwick with Madam. <laughs> cold here too, Laurie. It's cold. It's cold outside. It gets so hot in here. Yes, Harris on Bonnie Miller, and then he was with Demond Stars Wilson exactly. Starsky and Hutch. I, I got accused of looking like him. One and Antonio Fargus. Yep. His son was a running back for the Oakland Raiders. Antonio Vargas. Oh, really? Yeah, it was something. By the way, I have to get this out. The Ravens suck. I had to get that out. They suck big time. I could care less about football. They suck. <laughs> oh, I'm getting like that now. Lady Elaine. From uh, How about Mr. Phyllis Rogers Diller? Name? And the mother on uh, on Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Phyllis Diller. Oh, what a name. She, Sigmund I, and the Sea Monsters' mother. I always had a crush on her, too, Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Night Gallery episode with her and uh, John Aston. John Aston? Where uh, John um, Aston played... played uh, uh, her husband and he pushed her down the stairs and killed her. But uh, it, what happened is, is that uh, she was supposed to be dead. She came back and she was nagging him. He's like, "Well, you're out of my hair now." And it's like, turns out he's dead too. And they're both in the afterlife. And she's like, "Ah, oh, you gotta listen to me for all eternity." Oh, uh, here's another good, uh, another great comment. Comment I got from. From Tom, Ben Tom, I remind him of Eugene Levy. Oh gosh, I love Eugene Levy. I'll never get here. We go. Again. Look, see, doesn't this look like Phyllis Stiller? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. modeled. That was after. that yeah. was Sigmund and the Sea Monsters' mother. Yeah. Well, that show Shit's Creek. We 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 still watch that sometimes, but uh, that's his son on there. Um, is I don't think it's his daughter on there, or is it? But I know it's his son on the show. Yeah, it? it says in Wikipedia, Sweet Mama's characterization was based loosely on Philly's villa. <laughs> oh, it does say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, based loosely. The fucking thing looked just like her. Well, there you go. I, I think I think it looked better. <laughs> but now take a look. Was Madam based on Dion? Wrong color skin. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I have to I have to say this. Look, Eugene Levy never looked that good. By the way, I'm the one on I'm the one on the left. Yeah. No crap. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're you're a few you're a few curls away from a Jew fro. That's what it was. That's what they tell me. You actually but look like someone there too, and I can't really pinpoint it. But I I think I look better than Eugene Le Levy ever did. Because, well, maybe now I, I might look like. Him. But that was like I was 1983. I so, said, and my stepdaughter there, she just turned 50 Thursday. Yeah, I, I was 15. 
Okay, turn it off. Turn it off, Mitch. Oh. I used to yeah, take the hair dryer. I used to go to out these disco nightclubs and see if I get lucky. There is not enough good pictures of Madam on the uh, on the web. Same nostrils, Christ. <laughs> I have that a friend of mine that I met on on the internet. Actually, he uh, that's what he does: flies planes. And he, I met him at the airport, uh, local small airport, and he let me sit in the cockpit. That's great. I'm glad you said sit in and not sit on. Uh, it's so small, and this guy and uh, Fred is like he's like so he six had a small two. Cockpit. He he's like six two. I don't, and I'm like only five ten or eleven. I said, "How can you? How can you move around in here?" Of course, it, but and this this is what I, I don't want to have this happen. Oh, how did I? Get, oh, it's Dave's. <laughs> oh, I, I that thought that was him breathing. <gasps> Luke, I'm your father. Hello, 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 hello. Mitch, have well, you ever been in a, a Turkish prison? Circus, Turkish. Have you seen a grown man naked? Ugh. Yeah, who was first though? Was was Dick York first, and then Dick Sarge? York, York, York was first. No, and Sarge, yeah, Dick, yeah, Dick York, York was yeah. first. Thing is, York had uh, some sort of back back problems. Back problems uh, yeah. Yeah, and, I, and he asked that, "Hey, look, you know, can you kind of work around my back problems and stuff?" And they said no. So, um, oh yeah, Lady Elaine's a fright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lady Elaine, I think, was uh, the first lesbian on TV. Oh, no, 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 no. And then there was the cat there. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Yeah. Right. I'm telling I'm you, like, that's... Just pop it. Uh, all you got to do is put it in Birkenstocks and uh, spray some patchouli on that. That's... Yeah, Dick York, Dick Sargent... Like I said, Dick York was on that good Twilight Zone episode. Mm-hmm. What was that episode called? Was, uh, oh, something Edge? No. Uh, something a penny? Uh, it's called Penny for Your Thoughts. Oh, okay. Yep. What is it? Hmm. I'm not going to rob the bank. Everyone thinks about robbing the bank when they work at a bank. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it. Yeah, that was Ace Freely hammered. Did you see the interview? Uh, it was about a month ago, the interview with Gene Simmons and uh, this is Gene Dennis Simmons. Miller on... That, I didn't know Larry King was still doing shows, but it was uh, Dennis Miller filling filling in for him, doing uh, interviewing Gene Simmons about a month ago. He's an inter- whether you like him or not, he's an interesting guy. Noel McDonald does a show too on Josh. Yeah, I haven't seen him. I at love. All on any. I, I love Noel McDonald. I did. I liked him a lot. So I don't know why he. What yeah. happened? To him? My some of my friends just didn't get him, but I, I thought oh, it was I like hilarious. Him. 
Did you guys ever see this picture before? Hold on, I'm opening it up. Hold on. Okay, Hold ready? On. Boom. <laughs> Gene Simmons bald. He looks like Yul Brenner. He you know he's a, bald. He's, he, yeah. hey, Dave, well, when I, I thought he was balding in just far away. I didn't know he, he insists that it, this is he like when the interview I just saw this. I still have my hair. I don't know. Not his hair. He say he did say that. Though. I'm just telling you. OK, but you've seen the hairdo that he has when he goes on stage. I mean, that when he walks around. Well, what he had on Larry King didn't look real. Or no, it's a ridiculous way, but when you see him live, <laughs> and no McDonald's brother, Ronald. it's completely different here. <clears throat> oh, I got a friend coming. Over. Actually, yeah, Gene looked pretty good in it without hair. He looks like a fool with the hair he has now. Yeah, the, the, weird, the hair that he wears is so terrible. Hey, good night, Jeff. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Norm is awesome. Um, let's get brows. Dave Levine. Let's see, where is that? D. Come on, man. Mitch, where's your camera? Um, I'm getting it ready. I got a, I have a guest to come on if it, if I get it to show up. Are you taking my picture again? No, not you. Um, I already showed you already. Whoop. Get up there. There we go. All right. I got to get position. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Just one more Wait. thing. Ah. Uh, so he was, I just read this recently. He, he was blind. At, he lost his eye when he was like a couple years old or something. Really young. Yeah. Really young. Yeah, I think Stern's hair is his hair. But Gene Simmons, no way. There's no way you're turning. First of all, if you see his hair, his hair only comes to like his shoulder. But then when he performs live, that here is all the way down his back. Hmm. Let me find that article. I mean, the video. Let's see. Uh, I'll show I mean, you what I pull, mean. He's pulling on his hair. Um, so again, I can get a snapshot of it or something. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I noticed he changed his live wig. But I he saw them on the Tonight Show. His hair was down his back. And then I saw him at a White Snake concert, and his hair was like shoulder length. It, it, yeah, he it, it looks funky now after I'm looking at it. But I'm trying to get where he's showing he's pulling on his hair. I don't know where it's at. but uh, Right, exactly. It's a hair system. Yeah, let me see. Is Paul Stanley bald too? I don't know if that's his hair. Let me see. 
Paul Stanley Bald. According to this, I see a yeah, I see a picture of him with little side hair, but I don't know if that's doctored. Yeah, without the wig. Oh, does that look kind of funky to you? I don't know what you're looking at here. That's oh, Gene here Simmons. Go. Well, he's wearing a hat. Yeah, but it even and you know he had plenty of plastic surgery on his face. He had it when he was on that show. He he had, but he's a he's an intelligent guy. And he's still pretty sharp. A good businessman. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, where am I? They were they wearing wigs on stage. I could oh, be wearing. McCartney's my... wearing a wig. Is he really? Oh come on! I mean, last time I saw him, he had, it was terrible. It looks like a fucking White beaver hair. sitting on his head. Is it gray or? Well, you can well, see he has gray side I and then the. I mean, the, I saw one where he had gray hair. In the well, I, I thought his hair was just extremely thinning, and he may be wearing one to cover up his thinning hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got a he's got hair, but it's very thin, and there's a bald spot in back, and so he kind of. He kind of adds to it when he plays live, I guess. You got your Wilson look on, Corral Bar, but it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking at the screen. That's why. I know. All right, I'm going to back it out here. I'm going to get something eating. I got to take the yeah, dog. Yeah, same out. here. I got to yep. make some food. Eggs. All right. Thanks, hey. Dave, for having me. Thank we'll you, Mitch, you for, uh, for being here. Corral Bar, thank you. Oh, it was a Every blast. Girl. I'll be in Every the chat on, in the uh, chat on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. We'll watch you, Laura. Some, uh, we're gonna do a live some music Wednesday night because it's the night before Thanksgiving, and uh, I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me tonight. Bye. Alrighty, catch you in the chat room. Have a th happy Thanksgiving, everybody. In the chat too. The the.